Hi, YouTube. I'm sorry. I forgot to turn on the, uh, the record button. Nothing happened. Nothing important happened. Just me talking about pulp. Snoopy Looker, thank you for the three. Yo, coach a Snoopy Looker in Lard Lad, who dropped it eight minutes ago. Thank you guys for the three months apiece. Congratulations to all of you on cooking your bacon. Yanos uh, with the two months. FM Demort, welcome to the Hammers. Make sure you get in the subscribers section of the Discord. And no miss UK, thank you for kicking off the stream with the notification crew sub on the two months. Let's go. Can I get a wow. right on cue? I am mod sub. I don't know what's a bigger celebration, my birthday, or this eight month anniversary. Ring 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 banana phone ring 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 banana phone I've got this feeling, so appealing for us to get together and sing. Sing. I was gonna celebrate eight months as a sub for Read the Mead, one of the illustrious parts of the mod team. But then he called the banana phone. And you know what? It was beautiful. Thank you, Reed. I appreciate the eight, the eight months on the banana and the pan phone. We have a lot. There are a lot of hammers from Portugal. Yes, this is a thing. We're right up to our first match of the day. So let's let's kick this off with a bang, shall we, chat? Why did Zealand choose Oriental Dragons? How do you not choose a team named Oriental Dragon when you're looking through a lower league and you're just like, you know, sauntering through and you find a club called oriental dragon what do you do what's your number one answer to that because i know mine i'm playing as that team i'm playing as oriental dragon that's that's my answer to that who is oriental dragon me I'm Oriental Dragon. No, we have to sign Chinese players. There is a difference. Now, I'm always hoping there's a Chinese Wonder Kid somewhere, but we are, our boards, we have to sign Chinese players. 96 Roasty My Toasty, 69, thank you for the tier one. Welcome to the Hammers. Make sure you get in the subscriber section of the Discord to take full advantage of joining an elite online gaming community. And the emotes and such. How long until we sign Nuno Mendez? Oh yeah, we'll be there soon. Just finished watching your last stream. Boom. Yeah, we're like, I still have Thursday and Friday. We need to upload on the live channel uh, and then Monday. But one of the parts of, of, of Thursday that we're getting uploaded is the evening stream, which is of course Red Dead Redemption, which we're doing tonight as well. So uh, I saw some people from Australia like, I finally stayed up late enough for a stream. Well, we got another stream tonight. That's gonna be fun. We're doing a Red Dead Redemption playthrough at night. We put our cowboy hat on, really take full advantage of everything. Managed to get rid of my board's need to sign Uruguayans after 10 years. Maybe there's hope for you as well. I, do I want there to be hope? Wow. This will go a long way towards me purchasing my assless chaps for my Red Dead Redemption playthrough. 20 gifted subs from Read the Mead. Chowman, Meltwater, Cabbage Boy, Foifa, Vala, Arcade Phoenix, Twisted Nick, On Your Own, Multi Savvy, Bim Bam Gaming, Watson, Zach Brown, Philippa, Roizer, RZ, PGO, Traumdi, Manamana, Wellsy, Ibeerzel, and Mander Onomatopoeia. Welcome to the Hammers. Read the freaking mead with 20. Twenty gifted subs. Holy hot mess! Well, that'll get us to a level five hype train to get it started. Read the meat on the sub anniversary. Well, let's go win this match for read the meat then. Let us, let us, go win this match for read the meat on his sub anniversary. Believe Tyler is the only substitute fullback because we can do that. Sold Nuno Mendes for seventy million to Man City on the first season. Yeah, you probably sell him for more than that if you hang on to him for a year or two. Two being bandit. That dude. Uh, look, Nuno Mendes is on my top. You know, my list of most likely to be the best player in the world in the future. What's onomatopoeia? Onomatopoeia is a word that sounds like uh, yeah, a word that sounds like the sound, like. Love you, Papi XOXO. 
like whoosh. The word whoosh sounds like the sound of something whooshing by you. Does that make sense? That's what onomatopoeia is. Thank you so much, Pixel, for the three months of the Twitch Prime, man. Damn amor. Duddy, thank you for the Prime as well. Thank you for spending Jeff Bezos' money to be a part of the Hammers. Didn't even have to spend your own. That's just... Yeah, I guess pop. Yeah, pop might be. Buzz is an onomatopoeia, yeah. Words in comic books describing someone. Like, somebody gets smacked. Thwap! That, that's like an onomatopoeia, right? I fully expect you to keep our run going and win this match. I do. That is correct. Go out there and carry straight forward, uh, straight on from where you finished last match. Okay. Works for me, boss. We're playing, so this, just in case you didn't know this, we're playing the worst team in the league, I think. It's impossible to see because the ball hasn't left the area yet. Okay, cool. We're in G. What up, G? No, we're not. Yeah, we are. Where is... There is no G, so we're definitely not in G. Oh, there is a G. It's just up at the top. Yeah, we're playing Pre and Inse. They're, they're, they're literally last in the league. So we kind of, for pride's sake, right? For, for pride's sake, we need to win this match. We've also won uh, six straight matches. So uh, we also need to win this match for those reasons. Sprite, thank you for the two months of the Twitch Prime, my guy. Is crevice a dirty word? Nah, no. Crevice is not inherently a dirty word. That's... Referee, that's soft, man. He did the old, oh, I got touched. I'm going to stop running and force the ref to make a call. I, You know, nobody likes that. Get up, keep. Jao Manuel has a terrible time with tight angled balls in the air. Why that sounded weird. Hey, Zealand, I tweeted at you uh, with a new sound for your board, but I don't think you saw it. Fifth Mellow Music on Twitter or maybe Harding. I did not see Jamie's quote about uh, Pogba. But what did, oh, no, I, I saw, like, somebody else's quote about Pogba. Or about Solskjaer talking about Pogba. But Fifth Mellow, I did not see it. If you DM it to me when I go through my DMs, like, I usually do that about once a week. I'll sit down uh, and go through them all. Then I will... De I can guarantee you I will see it. Oh! Would I would just like to see that. I'm sorry. Would that be too much to ask? How? Okay, here we go. I just want to see what happened. So here's chance number one. Good save. It's not the easiest chance in the world, okay? Leave him alone. It's not the easiest chance in the world. He only has one goal all year. He's he's struggling. I guess it's impossible angle. It's just... <laughs> what are your thoughts on Giorena being compared to Freddy Adu? That's just dumb. There's just no, like, actual any there. Uh, it, there's no actual anything there other than young American. Yeah, I don't think Freddy Adu was scoring goals like Giorena just scored, like, in a top league in Europe. I couldn't hold on to him. He wanted to leave playing Champions League when sign a new contract. I wasn't, I wasn't blaming you being banded. It's a shame that he got so unsettled so quickly. Did you see the Werner miss on the weekend? I actually don't think I saw that. I don't think I saw that. I think Chupo Moting gets a hard rap, by the way. Everybody knows Chupo Moting's not, you know, actually good enough to be on the teams that he's on. He's just like the financially sound backup option who's capable of maybe doing something. And he's done something before. But I, I know I'm trying not to be too hard on someone like Chupa Moting, where you're not sitting there like, you know, Timo Werner's obviously better than Chupa Moting, and you just... I'm not happy with your performance? Nah, well, yeah. I, I guess we're, we're clicking that, because we are tied at halftime with the worst team in the league. Even though they really haven't gotten anything going, but that that's the challenge. 
we've been all offense all the time and we still barely have five shots on target. It's unsettling how quickly this match has gone by with nothing happening. No, good gracious. Now they're all out of sorts. I'm gonna take down our passing directness a little bit. I think that might help us in our quest here. Get some people really playing a poor match, like Nico. Knee plongs playing poorly. This would be nice. Just a goal off a set piece. I'll take a penalty. Well, we. As a man of honor, I will take this penalty. Eric Mendez has still got two goals to score, so. There we go. It's not pretty. But it, it does count. <laughs> Goalkeeper's terrible. Okay. And a second one. He had the through ball. I know he's not good enough to see it, but he did have the through ball. It's not pretty, but it's effective. Are we allowed to speak Portuguese for educational purposes? Uh... Other than your classic Portugal Carayo, I don't want to do that to my mod staff. I have not, I know, I, I know that you just like, that's just kind of what you yell. I don't know what it means necessarily. Holy chat, yeah, you, okay, the guys, chat's going into Chinese mode. Okay. <laughs> you know, chat's going into chat. Oh, oh, hey, 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 okay. How many defenders have we not hit? We got two left. Let's make sure we get both of them involved. Hmm. The, the, how do you not play that one too? See, this is... I, managing in lower leagues is painful sometimes because like, how open is this pass? I mean, holy smokes, dude. It is directly in front of him. Honestly, even if he misses, Eric Mendez has got a pretty darn good head start on this other center back. He's had that pass for like an hour and a half and just didn't play it. Life in the lower leagues, baby. All right, Joseph Holland. Nice, Pinto. Visions of grandeur. Oh, now we're breaking out the actual Chinese. Good. Caralho means you're beautiful. Yeah, sure. What do you need to know in Portuguese? What is the Portuguese equivalent of vamos? How do you say like, we go? That's what I need for shouting purposes. It's vamos, great. Plot twist, it's all the same language. I'm, I'm, I'm legitimately just going to stay in this formation. They've done nothing to switch the way they're playing. And I feel understandably very confident that we are going to be able to push on and grab another goal here. Changing the formation or not, it's not going to do a damn thing to the set pieces either. So, All right, we've got 95 people pressing against this back line, but Nee Plong's like, bro, I got this. And he does. He does got, he, he does have this. But we, he, if he passed it to anyone, like we had a eight on three there. Rash, I kind of need you to win that race. All right, now I'll get rid of it. Oh, there he is. I told you he needed his second goal. Who is... Obviously, he needed his second goal. He hadn't scored two goals yet. This is lovely. We're a little narrow for my taste. We're making it easier to defend, but Pinto able to find a run of some kind. He needed his second goal. Noah, thank you so much for the two months. One more for that. You're dang right. 
Well, it's very fortunate that we scored that goal because they just hit a... <sighs> yeah, okay. That dude just hit a banger. Imagine how furious I would have been if we hadn't scored that second goal, right? If we hadn't scored that second goal, this would have been a problem because this is the worst team in the league in the 90th minute scoring a 30-yard free kick. Oh, Eric. Oh. Oh, Eric. Wins the corner. Okay. I, I don't know how much time is left, but I'm going to just make this change anyways because now all of a sudden we're playing a one, you know... We're, we're in a one-goal match here. Getting frisky. Nice. How do you give that up? I'm very okay with that foul, though. That full clearance. And then they just call the game there. That's, that's kind of funny. <sighs> it was the suspense I was looking for. Marcus Banks, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Welcome to the Hammers. Make sure you get yourself in the subscribers section of the Discord to celebrate great victories like this one. Well done. I mean, like, we completely dominated the match. We underperformed our XG on the score sheet. We barely gave them anything. They scored an unbelievable goal. And we're one point off. And we've got one more match left uh, in the first half of the season. And this match is against the second, the third best team in the league which is Sporting CPB. There's a clear top three teams and we're about to play one of them in our next match. And then we go into the second cycle. Been playing at Real in the same group as you since start of November. We'll race you to that Champions League. Let's go, boys. Singular, just one dude with the race to the Champions League. It's very important at this moment With a race to the Champions League on. To think about the kind of difference between finishing first in the league and finishing in the top five. Because actually finishing first in the league will take me all the way up to the second tier. Right? Which makes typically you're like, well, obviously you're in the third tier. Like that's how that works. You idiot. But if we finish in the top five, so two to five we enter a playoff to get promoted to the third tier, which you're like, you're already in. And then if we don't even finish in that, which right now we're looking pretty good to at least be in that playoff, right? If we don't even finish in that. Then we're, we're in trouble. Wahid Fagir, player lookup. Okay. Okay. Minkar, greetings from Spain with the two months. Thank you for the Twitch Prime, man. That's $10 of Jeff Bezos' money that you've already spent. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Ow. Been managing Estrella de Almador in the same group. Got promoted to the second tier. I'm getting the Champions League first. So you did get promoted to the second tier. And if we don't do anything, right, we end up outside the top five, like six to nine or something, then we stay in this tier and when it ends up being called the fourth tier absolute catastrophe all right we're gonna put you on a one month short list and we will trial you when the opportunity presents itself feels there's a lack of depth up front well you've said that you have complained about a lack of depth at every single position on the team are you trying to tell me something i feel like you're trying to tell me something these contracts are set to expire at the end of the year um, okay, who who's on this list? Sandro Costa, Shapinto. Should probably lock you down. An important player. We'll give the player a big pay raise. What do you who do you think I am? Give the player a big pay raise. Oh. You get a part-time contract for two years. Honestly, the way this is set up, I'm trying to get us full-time contract renewals coming over the coming over the threshold here. Sandro Costa, I'm gonna walk you down. I just keep walking people down. All right, regular starter from these kind, these ridiculous wages that they they ask for immediately. We get Sandro Costa back in. Obviously, Eric Mendez. 
It would be inferior in terms of my current deal. Okay. So we need to make some money or else we're going to lose Eric Mendez. That's an unsettling realization. I do not like that. That is uniquely unpleasant. Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do too much contract negotiation, but on January 1st, there are going to be a bunch of Brazilians whose contracts have expired, and I will be looking to sign those Brazilians, chat. Hi Zealand, much love. Could you uh please could you end the stream as I am still catching up with the previous vlog? Uh, appreciate the understanding. Keep up the great content. Under Catley makes complete sense. All right, guys, that makes complete sense. I'm sorry. We'll be back in it. We'll be back in an hour. Thank you for the two months, buddy. Uh, don't worry. The VODs will still be there. Petition for your mods to learn Portuguese. I know. The, like you have lack of depth up front. We have Eric Mendez. The real problem is, who do we have if we don't have Eric Mendez? And that answer is very scary. That answer is very scary. Seems like you're all being supportive at the moment, but we need to keep the chat in English. Yeah, so the reason that you need to keep the chat in English uh, is so that we can moderate it. The problem is, if it's not in English, whether it's if, whether it's kind things not in English or not, we cannot moderate the chat when it's not in English. Does that make sense? So the reason you might get timed out for continuously chatting in a different language is just because we can't moderate it. Yeah, oh shoot, the redeemed player. Thank you. I literally said it out loud. I'm like, Wahid Fagir, wonder who that is. <laughs> Let's forget about it. Wahid Fagir. Okay. Wahid Fagir is at Velia, 17 years old. Wanted by Brighton, Torino, Cagliari, Jiangsu, Wuhan. Dude's making some plays. Clearly beloved, so he gets 16 appearances in a lower Danish league. All right, let's... Oh no, that's the top league. What? what are the... the names are so weird. I say he plays for Afghanistan. Why would you ever play for the Afghan national team, right? If you like, I cannot imagine there's a high level of no organization, like high level of organization around the Afghan national team. A Twitch Google Translate collab. Sold him to Leicester for 6 million pounds in my Villa save. I'm surprised it was that little. It looks like he's the type of guy that you get 10, 15 from, but I guess that's because of where you are. An American bashing Afghanistan. Now I'm just talking about like, this is something a lot of people don't think about when they say, oh, it'd be super cool if he went and played for this national team of like his parents, right? But it's some country that is economically underdeveloped. The organization and training facilities and coaching standards and those sorts of things for national teams like that sometimes are really shocking. Like, have you ever watched a documentary about some of the African national teams and, like, the places they have to train and the places they have to stay while they're doing it? Like, you know, it gets pretty weird. And so I was just thinking, like, he might not make the Danish national team, but in real life, choosing to play for a national team like Afghanistan, which is probably not going to have a lot of its stuff put together... Uh, that was the point I was raising. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It was a joke. I know, but... As an American, you typically have to start everything with like, I'm sorry, but this is what I was saying. <laughs> I'm, I, I, I'm sorry, but this is what I was... This is what I was actually saying. Okay, it's January 1st. Let's check on the... No, let's check on the Brazilians. Hi, Zealand. Any update on the preserve feature? Look, uh, Gestalt's still really working on it. I thought it was going to be done by this weekend. It's not quite done. He knows it's going to be done soon. Okay. Short list. All the Brazilians on this short list should be available for free. 
All these guys. Your contracts just expired. Have a wonderful time in Portugal while you decide what you want to do. You know, come on over. Have a great time in Portugal. These guys kind of re-up their contracts. So now we've got a couple that are expiring at the end of this next month. A couple that are expiring next year. But let's take a look at some of these, uh, these players. Luis Felipe. Fabio has rejected us. It's okay. You were, you were not... How about one week? Fabio. Caio. Not Caio Jorge, but somebody better. Ryan Ramos. We're looking for an attacking midfield type. It's going to be able to play in that attacking midfield space. Hello, good sir in chat. Morbanesh, how you doing? Have a wonderful time in Portugal. Nothing bitter about that. No, not really. Not in this century, anyways. Have you ever thought about playing samples of Portuguese and Chinese national anthems at times during the stream once in a while? It's possible you risk getting DMCA'd. Yes, it is. So, no. But, hey, what are you going to do? What face pack do you use for real players? Uh, DF11 is... But I don't do a ton of research. I just know DF11 has a ton of faces, and so that's the one that I use. There are probably better options. I really... I have to qualify, because this is not something that I... You know, there's different ways to frame the faces or if you want some different skin you can you can get faces that look like this right like you have a lot of options so this guy's supposed to be really good kayo is supposed to be really good ball winning midfielder extraordinaire kayo jaime is supposed to be a forward oh this is the uh this is the dribbler this is the athletic dribbler you not have a side preference. Ryan Ramos. Yeah, I would love, love, love to make a few signings out of this. Dude, I'm playing, I'm paying Wang Shinhai 10,000. I hate it. Ew. I'm paying Wong Shinhai 10,000. Shaw Guillerme, he's okay. Is it Shallow Silva bad? No, that's that's the actual midfielder. Can't release him on a free. Nobody's going to want to buy him. I just have to eat that. And that sucks. I have to eat it! Hey, Zealand, how's the save going? It's going. We've actually won seven straight. It's going much better than just it's going. We've enjoyed it. Just imagining countries DMCAing their national anthems. Well, I somebody owns who made it. Oh, no, I hope I don't get in trouble when I play V-Borg's Anthem after I win games in my save. You literally could, Lobster. Like, I'm not even kidding. They have um, crawlers that go through the... Th that's how it works. It's not an actual person. It's a digital crawler that's just looking for something that they own the rights to. And if it finds that it can just... You get a DMCA strike. Twitch has to take you down. Apparently, if you uh, find someone to record the National Anthem, you are good to use that recording. National Anthems are not under copyright, but recordings are. Nice. Which club are you running? I am Oriental Dragon in Portugal. How to get face packs. I was, was going to like show you the thumbnail for that video, but that video is currently being edited. How to get face packs is currently being edited. I promise. Aren't most national anthems in the public domain? Yeah, but the specific recordings of them, it can be weird. It's people own the recordings of stuff. So yeah, like the actual tune of the national anthem. Like if I just sat here and went, you know, God save the gracious queen or whatever. Um, the they like I can't get DMCA'd for that because nobody owns the tune, but you can own the specific recordings. Copyright! Yeah, all the founding fathers just rolled over in their grave. <laughs> they get a time machine, right? George Washington gets a time machine. 
He comes to just this moment. He comes to this Twitch stream. Doesn't even know what's going on. Watches me sing like God save the gracious queen and will believe for till the end of time that he failed. Tragedy. Mateus Aurelio should no longer be on a team or we're just waiting. Did we finally get 100%? Thank you. Okay, he's actually consistent. No other large issues. Do a six month short list on him. Just, you know, just in case we happen to need a goalkeeper at that time. That being said, in the meantime, I should consider signing this other goalkeeper who we have on trial, who is actually sick. Thy name is... I, I don't remember. Which one are you? Luis Felipe. Large man. 66165. They call him the beanpole. Okay, approach to sign. Star player. Let's just go with first choice goalkeeper. Okay. He doesn't want that much money. I love it. I love it. Luis Felipe, he's a tower of power. A tower of power, chat. How about 25%? You want to make that deal? Okay, bud. Luis Felipe's in. The time of Schwao Emanuel is over. It is done. We will sign a new goalkeeper today. Really, they just leaked the... <sighs> Oriental Dragons, you, Sean Jean. Oh, our goalkeeper just received three offers from teams in lower divisions, I think. Our 19-year-old Chinese goalkeeper's on the move, chat. We're going to lose him. I know. If only we had a different Luis Felipe. This dude's actually kind of good. He's not a tower of power. He's more like a tower of limbs. 6'6", six, six, 2 meters tall. 165 pounds is probably what, like, Aguero weighs. Aguero might weigh more than that. We're gonna look this up, because I, I know there's a large portion of the chat that don't understand how, like, weirdly proportioned this guy is. He's 74 kilograms. And he's 2 meters tall. Be mind-blown, European peoples. Now you know. But he's pretty darn good. Oh, we gotta hydrate. More orange juice, everybody. Everybody, take a sip of your orange juice. Good, good sip. So he's not American. Oh, I get it. It's because there are fat people in America. How did you know I'm drinking orange juice? Well, if you have 3,000 McDonald's. How did you know I'm drinking orange juice? Because great minds think alike. How much did Crouch weigh? I have no idea. How much did Peter Crouch weigh? The exact same, actually. 70, 74, 75 kilograms. Boom! What is this guy 2D? Can confirm I'm a fat person in America. We're all about representation here, chat. I want Luis Felipe to sign before this match. It's not like a goalkeeper has to be in with the flow of the rest of the team, right? He speaks Portuguese. He'll be fine. Crouchy's like 6'8", true. I don't think Crouch gets enough credit for being... He was actually really good. That's what's great. Kyle Parks is an American goalkeeper in Portugal. Fat guy says hello from Denmark. Hello, YouTube. Hello! The name name checks out. Big ass bloke. Name checks out. Which tier are we playing in? The third division of Portugal, the Portuguese championship. I'm a fat person in Scotland. We're everywhere. Sean Jean's opted to stay. He doesn't want to leave. Okay, okay. There is simply no way I can sign this guy right now. But maybe at the end of the season with a promotion, we'll have the money to sign someone like that because that dude is clearly amazing. 
clearly, clearly amazing. These end of contract signing recommendations are sensational. I just want like these are gonna change my life. Can't go wrong with a deep fried Mars bar. Don't think Germany has any fat people. Germans, this is your turn. I look every, everywhere in the entire world. Come on. There's no country that's just like, well, we don't have fat people. Even though that sounds like something like Putin would say, would be like, we don't have fat people, you know. It's like, you sure? You sure? You, you might, you might have a few somewhere. Uh, this is a big country. Crouch was, Crouch was vertically obese. That's how we'll word that. Germany has fat people. Got it. North Korea. North Korea has fat people. Have you seen the leadership? Have you seen the leadership? Of course, North Korea has fat people. They're right in front of your eyes. They're the ones you always see. Eyes. No, 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 no. Okay, sick. Very sorry about that. Very, 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 very sorry about that. I've never done this before. This is my first time, Louise. I was just asking you to hurry up your decision. Satisfied. Thank goodness. Oh, we survived. It did. I was unable to convince him, but me backing down and being the bigger man has saved us once again. I just wanted him to speed up his decision-making because, I don't know, these Brazilian teams are getting frisky trying to sign a goalkeeper who is clearly very, very talented. Like, I don't know how much they're coming in with, but I would happily pay you a little bit more. Not that it's going to make much of a difference, Louise, but I'll pay you $3,000 more. Because I would love to have your beanpole in goal. That would be great. China and Japan don't have fat people? Sumo wrestling. Well, that argument fell apart. In Japan, genuinely can't be overweight because there's a law that you can't be over a certain capacity. I feel like you just wouldn't want to be because I got to fit on those dang trains, dude. The, tr the trains with like the cattle prods, you know, they got to fit on those trains. I wouldn't want to try and fit on those trains like you couldn't. If you were like a fat dude, like you wouldn't be able to fit on the train, right? Objectively. No fat people in Madagascar from the movie. The, they're penguins, man. Penguins are definitely a little chubby, too. Let's be honest with ourselves. Penguins have got a midsection. Okay. Tell me if you've ever seen a fat Kenyan. I mean, I haven't, but Kenya's a big country. Because Kenya's only real sporting culture is long-distance running, so typically there's not going to be the large obese population in that sporting culture. But, you know, Winyama, when he's done with his playing days, definitely looks like somebody that could get girthy. Odegaard for 35 million seems a good deal. I think, like, that's right in the area where it could be a, be a deal for both parties. That's rude. What, what part of that was rude? I didn't think I was wading into potentially rude areas of discussion. Have I been clickgated about the 307? I mean, you, you you answer for yourself, okay? This is a pretty crispy win streak right here. Calling penguins fat was rude. Okay, that's completely fair. That's completely fair. Penguins are big boned. The defense of the penguins is larger than the def Whatever. <laughs> but tell me, when you watched March of the Penguins, you weren't like, hmm. Dude's kind of chunky. I loved March of the Penguins. What happened to doing some nice, good old-fashioned stuff like that? Oh, Silvano's got offers coming in for him. 
I just don't think this guy's worth us spending extra money. Um, we need to be very sure that these guys are absolute superstars that we're going to be trying to sign, and uh, I don't think Silvano's that guy, so... It happens. It happens. Big, big match here in two days. It's huge! There is a second March of the Penguins. Shut up. What have I been doing not watching this movie? March of the Penguins 2. The Call! They gave it a title. It got a pretty bad score on IMDb, but the Rotten Tomatoes was really good. That changes everything. I'm a huge Planet Earth guy. Huge Planet Earth guy. And I am because we had a car when I was growing up. I had a car when I was growing up, right? My mom would drive us around in this car because that's how cars work. And then we had a little DVD player in the back seat of the car, right? So my brother and I would be sitting there with the headphones that looked shockingly like these, watching this TV while my mom went and bought shoes or whatever she was doing. And very early on in the ownership of this car, there was a, a malfunction in the CD thing for the DVD player. And the disc that got stuck in the damn CD player was Planet Earth, the full original one on one disc. And so every time I got in the car, every single time I got in the car, we were watching one of the Planet Earths on that the, one of the original Planet Earth episodes from that all in one disc. See, Blue Planet I'm much less familiar with because it wasn't stuck in the back of a car I lived in for five years. We didn't live in the car, but you, like lived with. I have seen Blue Planet. I just haven't seen it 85,000 times like I've seen the entirety of the original Planet Earth 85,000 times. Planet Earth 2 rocks me because it's like Planet Earth, but it's not because I know Planet Earth. I can narrate the original Planet Earth for you. Like if I started watching it, I would flash back to being 12. I'm like playing Pokemon, watching Planet Earth. Like those were the days, chat. I personally like Felipe's style. Do I? Sure. I, Vanessa's asking me all these questions. I don't know the answer to you. Sound like you're worried about the strength of the opposition. I'm not in awe, in awe of his team. It'll be a tough match, you know? He's, somebody's been on trial. Hopefully we can get on the same page. Sandro Castro's where, uh, yeah, Sandro's athletic. Love having that sort of player on my squad. Holland's very important. Uh, he has standout qualities. Very perceptive, Vanessa, considering he starts every match. Um, Shaw Pinto put pen to paper in a new contract. Always wanted to make a public statement that he wanted to stay here. How pleased are you that Sandro Castro signed a new contract? Uh, I'm pleased he wants to be part of our success, Vanessa. Just like you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, guys. And by guys, I mean Vanessa. I'll see you guys next week. Uh... I look forward to multiple journalists at some point in my life. Did it have more than one episode? Yeah, it had all of them, Nikki. It was a high-level piece of machinery. Gotta love when the crown jewel of your youth intake is five natural fitness. Well, it just means by the time he's 27, he's going to be obese and addicted to crack. What? Hydrate. Okay. Isn't that how natural fitness works? Wait, would you like me? Yeah, that's true. Uh, the really, you know, Vanessa, it's a little rocky. She's still got the boyfriend, you know, it's, uh, but the interviews have been much more friendly recently. So I'm really feeling a vibe in the game. Yo, let's get a Zealand narrates Planet Earth stream sometime. Now that is DMCA. Zealand's looking to overtake PewDiePie to become YouTube's number one. We got to conquer football manager first, but yeah, sure. Why not? I said that on one of the podcasts. It's like, what is your... No! Mother trucker! That hurt like a butt cheek on a stick. Dang it. 
I handle... We handle... I think we handled it well, guys. We handled it well. Okay. Who else do we want to sign? Who else is a stud that's going to help? How are you rated so highly, you piece of human garbage? Just kidding. You're, you're pretty good, but... <sighs> I want game changers. You are not game changers. That goalkeeper, on the other hand, was a freaking game. Okay, you are. Actually, you. 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 Hi, May. Hi, May. Hi, May. Hi, May. Hi, May. Okay, hi, mate. Let's do this, man. A uh, squad player, just because you'll accept that? No, you won't. Okay. Gendo, I'm sorry to hear that, but holy... Twenty gifted subs from Read the Freaking Me Remix, and it's a replay of twenty forty gifted subs on this stream. He's a ninety-seven for the month, just behind Psycho's hundred. Read with the gifted to Noah, Special Keezy, IG, Clausen, Thargoff, Kenneth, Hands, Straub, Vimeranus, Stall, Owen, Dark Solar, Louis Spuis, Josh Teague, Hoovsa, Adsmac. Uh, the old Shrike, Jack Fiore, Vol Badger, Al Tobin, and Carl Getta. Welcome to the Hammers. Make sure you get the subscriber section of the Discord. And that's just a huge wow. 20 more gifted subs. Jaime is a huge fan of that. All right, Jaime. Jaime, sign the contract. Jaime, sign the contract. Reed takes the top gifted sub spot with five more. Dude, on his subversary, he's dropped 45 gifted subs. Ladies and gentlemen, Reed the Mead. What team and what country? Oriental Dragon, third tier of Portugal. Very fluid league situation at the moment. Lots of fun. Reed uh, to I am Blixed, Schmitty CSGO, 3JP, Magic Bird, that's me, and Falapelli. Welcome to the Hammers. <laughs> oh no. Psycho's here and throws down the five gifted to take back the top gifted sub spot. Whoa, Jake the Young One, Stuber, Falsetti Time, and Sheffield. You know, just mad respect to two of the best to ever do it. This, uh, this month in particular. I'm going to throw that down. I'm going to throw some gold down and be like, yo. If you're getting a gifted sub, make sure you, you thank him. Getting that gifted sub, make sure you get in the subscriber section of the Discord to take full advantage of being in the hammers, of having the bacon, of having the emotes and everything else. And Johan with the gifted to Andres Deb. Johan's like, shoot, I'm in. I got seven gifted subs to this channel. I'm in a high level hammer right here. Heck to the yes. Uh, I did it, bro. We got promoted only to get the same tier that Oriental was. Yeah, you can get promoted and stay in the same tier. That's the fun thing about being here. Sounded like I was about to drop into some sort of poem there. All right, huge match, huge match, guys. Huge gifteds in the chat, huge match. We got two people over 100 gifted subs. We got non -Q at 87 gifted subs. It's been a mad couple of days to start December. Mad. Bronco, Tyler Turner, Marlon Costa, Gonzalo Silva, Aguas, Monroy. Monroy's leaving though. <sighs> Just gotta get our. We gotta get Bronco, put him back up there. We gotta go find Lamine Ba, put him back on the bench. Adilson's still out there, ready to play. Jopinto, Brash, Holland, Niplong, Nico, Thiago Quero, Eric Mendez. 
Psycho with the gift of the Tesla Tiwi. Tesla Tiwi, welcome to the hammers, man. My crown jewel of a fat lard, a 5-6 right back scored a screamer with his weak foot. Just hit it with the... That's my favorite... One of my favorite reactions to a goal is after Bale's bicycle kick, you see Zidane, who doesn't even like Bale, is just over there in the... One of those. That's probably my favorite reaction to a goal I've ever seen. Let's just be bold. Let's just be more aggressive than them. I think that's where we're at here. I have one change you're probably going to want to make. I'm going to drop Brash. But we're going to use Holland as a box to box, and we'll be good from there. Put you on support, maybe cover a little more ground. Okay. Let's ride, boys. Huge match against the third best team in the league. We're on seven straight wins after our 2 1 win on the road last time. Tolino with the five gifted, my guy. Dropping five. FM Saima, Donich, Bellwood, Cal Pajan, and Eduardo. Welcome to the Hammers. Make sure you get in the subscriber section of the Discord. Enjoy the emotes. Enjoy the bacone. Enjoy the match today, gentlemen. No, we're going to actually do like the individual I have faith in you and the entire team. Is this, unlike most of the matches we play where we go out, we, we execute the same thing and we expect to be able to win. Now this is a big match. We can't just go out and expect to win. I want to keep this going. You know, we're in fantastic form. I want to keep it going. We're on TV. Let's make the most of it. We're missing one of our center backs, but Bronco's got a lot of first team experience this year. I think he's going to be able to make it count. Hey, Z. Hood, good job in the beta save with Aberdeen as a Rangers fan. You made me care about Aberdeen, and that's illegal in some parts of Scotland. Fair enough. And Toledo, thank you again. Five. 17 in the career. That's putting up some numbers now. All right, Oriental Dragon. Let's go, baby. All right, Oriental Dragon. Let's make the magic happen. A throw, perhaps? He's... That's the guy we're aiming for. That guy right there. Incredibly good in the air. Not quite good enough that time. Nice touch. Ooh! I was just about to praise Nico so much. Then he did that. It's good movement for a guy that doesn't move. A Dielsen? Oh, yes. Couldn't have put it in a better spot. That was clever. The release valve on the pressure like the spot for Nico. He's got Pinto around him. That wasn't bad. Nico's full of intent today, chat. Full of intent. Yeah, I know. I'm, I, I know I'm playing the sporting B team. Come on, Nico. Tap dance on him. Problem is, he believes a little too much in himself. How can we beat that out of him? Because we look like the better team right now. And it's mainly Nico finding pockets of space to make plays in. Please bring it down. Thank you. Past FMs, they would have headed that ball. Here he goes again. They cannot mark Nico. If he was like within 10 feet of the goal, I'd be celebrating that. But we have like five shots. I think four of them are Nico. Pinto, on the other hand. Can totally score that. Very good. Very good kick taker. I don't like the shape that we're in defensively. We gave them too many channels. It's not that I can like tell them that. To wait for more technology. Here's something interesting. When they're in possession, they have two strikers and two wingers. The wingers are all the way up. That's a fullback. The midfielders are never going that far forward, though. 
Crash has been dragged out of position, which I don't like. That's a free kick, right? Yeah. Well, this is not good. Oh, he's going with the left. Shame. Any news in the update for the face pack? Super excited for it. Yes. I like I talked to Gestalt about it over the weekend and he said just hey don't like set an exact time that it's gonna come out, but it's it's close to being done. I was like, okay, I can do that. Come on, Tayo. You you gotta win the headers, man. You're the target man. With the ability to back it up. <whistles> that would have been something. Good defense, Bronco. Good defense, Sandro. Good defense, Pinto. It's like our whole defense is getting a nice little audition, and that's a tough shot. Okay. I'm not. I'm not dissatisfied with the way we've played so far. I think we're giving them. We're giving it a good go. We've we've had the higher XG. We've had plenty more actual moves forward. They got a free kick. They converted it. It's a good competitive match. But you know we're the top scoring team in the entire division. We're capable of coming back from this. What's up, Nakiro? Reed with the gifted to Golden Dude 90. Very aptly named. I wonder what happened to the first 89. Make sure you get in the subscriber section of the Discord. Reed, thank you so much for the 46 gifteds. Nico. Play it. Let's go. We've got 85 guys in there. It's what he does, chat. He's the greatest goal scorer in the history of the Portuguese championship. Eric Mendez, he's just always open. He's always finding a spot to just take the ball and put it in the back of the net. It's what he does, chat. It's what he does. And the gifted to Christian and A. Reed, you're going off today on your subversary. You love to see it. You love to see it. Christian and A, make sure you get in the subscriber section of the Discord. Enjoy the, the Bacone. Adilson, slip him in. We had him outnumbered for a second. We had the overload. I like this. Adilson went to a good spot, took a shot that I'd want him to take in that situation, but mm, we had the overload and we didn't use it. Please tell me he sees that pass. He does. Highlights started too late in the move, so this needs to be us too. He was off. Great looking move, though. Great looking move. That was sensational. Okay. Okay. I'm pleased with how things are going. I honestly am. We've been the better team the entire match. I want us to just keep that going. And uh, we should be able to find a second goal here. Stay on the front foot. Stay with our super aggressive tactic. And... Uh, eventually overwhelm them or just find a moment of brilliance from someone like Niplong or Eric Mendez or somebody that's going to be able to make this count what was the season prediction the media prediction for your team I think we were picked first This team's been promoted each of the last two seasons. So from the fifth tier to the fourth tier, from the fourth tier to the third tier. Team is talented and should be right where it is on the table right now. The real trick is we have Sporting's B team next to us and we have Belenensis B team next to us. That's who we're competing with. And this is obviously Sporting's B team. We're playing one of those big matches right now. Good. Drop it off. Good. We need to take the space and now just play Joseph Holland. We're on to the next level. I like that pass. Come on! Tied him up, Eric Mendez. Goal! 
Oh, this would be a huge come from behind win right here. This would be a huge come from behind win. Eric Mendez has brace. He has a brace again. I think he has a brace in five straight matches, and I'm not. That's not me over exaggerating at all. I legitimately think he has a brace in five straight matches. He just went for that. He's also improved at pins, considering he missed his first two attempts. I think he's converted like four straight now, which is nice. This team is very talented, though, and I'm expecting some sort of tactical retribution at some point. They did make a change. We're going to see if we need to do any assistance stuff with that change. No, we don't. Okay. We're going to make a change as well. I, you know, we can do that. Eric Mendez goes up there. Kairos coming off. For Gonzalo Silva. Mr. Balanced. Brash is coming off from Arlen Costa. He's going to play as a ball winner. All right, new tactic in place. Final 10 minutes. I'll take another one. We don't have a long throw set on this tactic. Mental note there. Nice ball, Marlon. Ref! Pinto was literally just a... I haven't really seen that in this match engine before, but I knew it was a feature. He was literally appealing for that penalty. He was getting up with one of these. We're fine. We're fine. That's a real tight angle. Shallow manual. It's going to be able to get there. Let's play a good ball, Pinto. Ooh! Damn. What does overlap mean? Uh, in terms of the in tactical instructions, it means your team's going to slow down and look for some someone coming around the outside here. Normally a, a fullback, or a, it can be a Mitsala out of the central midfield that'll be like coming around on the outside. And your team will hold the ball up and wait for that, but that's what an overlap is. In the instructions and what it is in general is just somebody coming over the outside of a player. Got him. Oh. Great ball, Sandro. Gave us a chance. You never know what's going to make the difference in this situation. So we're going to go ahead and load up a couple of Icelands. Just to give us an opportunity to, to score a goal out of this situation. Because it might be what makes the difference. Does that look like a long throw to you, Pito? Oh, yes. Holland. open the window it's hot as holy hell in here man that's the thing right holy hell so we did score off at 3-1 complain about pinto's long throws again he thrives off the complaints okay pinto had a plan i guess he did very very pleased i mean come on we just won three to one against the third best team in the league it's a two-horse race it's us and benin insists for the top spot like Brash is going to pick up yellow cards. That happens. And it's pretty clear. And you know what? The last time we played Belenensis, we beat him. And guess who the next match is against? No way. The next match is Belenensis. Well, this is an important stretch of the season. Holy... We've attracted some attention.
homie. Valerio, Santiago, Nuno, Alexandra, Fabio, Danny, and Vanessa. <sighs> Vanessa has you meeting her family, dude. Good result. How, you know, how is that surprising? You know, I'm pleased with the result. I still maintain he has a side that plays really well. We just played better on the day. I much you enjoy Holland's performance. He's such a good player who makes such a difference when he plays. Like, <laughs> Vanessa by herself asks me three times the questions, but now we get seven guys in here. We get seven guys in here and you ask me two questions. Yeah, well, this next match is about to be a big deal too. We're playing Belenin Sis B. Okay. This is the biggest match of the entire season. This right here is the biggest match of the entire season. There are very few situations. There are very few situations where this is not the biggest match of the entire season. We break a consecutive wins record. We have eight games, one in a row. We go for nine against Belenin B. I, th like, Eric Mendez has 19 goals. What is that? Eric Mendez scores a goal every 52 minutes he's on the field. He has 11 appearances and 19 goals. I wanted to check this. He has a brace. A brace. A brace. A hat trick, which he also had, you know, he, okay, so he has at least four consecutive braces. Five, six, seven. It's it seven? He has seven consecutive braces. That's one of the most insane runs of form of any player I've ever seen in Football Manager. I mean, seriously, have you ever seen seven consecutive braces? All comps. Seven consecutive braces. Including a hat trick somewhere in here. I mean, that is preposterous. One, two, three. Three. He hasn't played a match without a brace since October. It is January, the middle of January. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven matches. Jeez, man. And now you've jinxed him? I mean, maybe. Look, he scored a penalty in the 89th minute in one of those to preserve his brace, but like, come on. You've sainted people for less. It's true. But hey, I saint people for wins. People get sainted for winning trophies. And if Eric Mendez leads us to a championship title, you can bet your bottom dollar Sir Eric Mendez will be a thing. Why am I always purple? I want a different color. You can choose your colors, right? You got to believe, Chad. And if he does play a 5.5, we just signed Jaime, who I quite honestly really like as a player. He's creative. He's a great dribbler. He's very athletic. And he adds a little depth to our front line, which we really desperately needed. So we've added Jaime to the team. Eric, can you welcome him? I believe we found you a strike partner with suitable athleticism, Eric. I believe we found you a strike partner with suitable athleticism. Ooh, another midfielder that might just be the guy we're looking for. Z and Hey. ¿Qué pasó? Show Stealer, thank you for the eight months as part of the Hammers. We have a child one month from now. A Twitch child. Dude. Ooh, 
You know what that reminded me of? That the um there's that meme. It's like a it's a gif. And I have no idea what show it's from, but they're like giving a presentation in some sort of conference room. It looks like maybe somebody's dining room. And they're giving the presentation and the dude has the board. And he's like, what's worse than a rapist? And then he peels the thing off. And it says child, like, you know, child rapist. But the guy that just turns and looks at the screen and goes, a child. <laughs> what is that from, dude? Why did that pop into my head is like, that was, you were out of a Twitch baby in one month. What's worse than a rapist? A child. It's, it's a, that Ben's a parent right now. That's how he feels. A child. What is that from? Is this from, that's not from the office. Is that from the UK office? Whitest kids, you know. Me. I mean. It's The Office. It's not. I mean, I've watched The Office like 25 times. It's just a vine. Oh, uh, Whitest Kids You Know. Oh, it's from a comedy group called Whitest Kids You Know. Okay, and it was a skit. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. I am confident that Jaime can produce in big, uh, big games, yes. It's where is 12th club? The dude's 27. Yeah, I don't think he was a good fit at those other 11 clubs. I'm sure he's going to make it a long career at Oriental Dragon. Daytime with Vanessa. I know, I, I hate how crowded it was with all those other people. We didn't really get quality time in the press conference room. All right, Belenensis. There is only the UK office outside of the US. The office US doesn't exist. See, John, that's not true because there are a lot of people outside the US that talk to me about the office. You know, I've never watched the UK office, so I can't judge it. But the American version of the office is brilliant. It's one of my favorite shows. I love it. You don't have to dump on one to say you like the other. You know what I mean? Man, you're bad. That's my timely, prescient observation. Man, you're bad. I'm on 1.5k channel points. How long do you think it'll take me to save enough for a staff member rename? Hmm. What is staff member rename set on again? I can't remember the exact values of anything. Helpful, I know. Okay, we do that. We have to go get Ivan Diaz and put him back in the starting lineup. Even though Bronco I, Bronco definitely turned in a good match against Sporting's B team, but Ivan Diaz long term is just a better center back. We want to get him out there. It's 50k for a staff member. That's probably at least a few weeks. I'm working on it. It's taken me a while. Yeah, see, we had to put the I have a I have a, a PTSD chat. And I know a lot the vast, vast majority of you will have no idea this story exists until I tell it to you right now. But we, when we first discovered channel points, we made like a, we've done, I've done a bunch of different things with channel points. We've done like history fact days where you could redeem channel points. And I would like, and then it queued up so long. I had to come up with like 150 history facts or something. Uh, Maltmeister, welcome. And then, you know, in Brazil, they have the second tier team called America. I guess it's the most popular team and the most supporters in the world, all Americans. This man's a genius. Um, and we also had one that was like push-ups. And it was, I would do 10 push-ups and you had to do 10 push-ups on an honor system. And I, on one stream, we set the amount of money too low, obviously. On one stream, I did 400 push-ups. And that, my friends, is when you learn not to undervalue things with channel points. 
because I did 400 push-ups on one stream. I did all of them. And then was in a coma for the next day and a half. So I have my channel points for my workouts. Yeah. But I, I have like a, a, a mental thing where like, if I, if I tell you guys I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it, right? Like... I'm not going to be like, oh, no, never mind. I'm not doing that many push-ups. You spent your hard-earned channel points on it, and so I did it. As dumb as it was to do 400 push-ups. Which one? Well, it was like... It was when I was living with my ex-girlfriend a year ago. It was... Uh, well, I want to say early, early February. Like, like around there. Hmm. That's some good juice, Aniquio. That's some good juice. No, it's not in the live channel. The live channel started way after that. The one... Hey, I was using her um, Hulu. I didn't even know I was using her Hulu on my phone. My phone was logged into her Hulu and I'd never switched it back to mine. That was what happened the other day. I was walking around and it was like, you've been logged out of the Hulu. I was like, what? Oh, it wasn't mine. Like I was paying for my own Hulu and had it on like my smart TV or whatever. My goodness. Okay. I'm going to drink some water because I like to cherish this orange juice, but we'll drink some agua. You guys keeping me hydrated. <sighs> Science Moranians. When uh, you get promoted, it's been a real trend for Portuguese teams. I mean, I love signing Iranians as much as the next guy. Hulu is a streaming service, kind of like Netflix, you know. See, you can't actually drown me with the hydrates as much as Aniquia likes to believe that you can drown me with the hydrates. Because the hydrate is there to remind me to continuously drink liquids while I stream because I used to end every stream and be incredibly dehydrated at the end of the said stream, which is just not fun, right? So... There's, that's the reason that that's there. Jaime, welcome to the team. Jaime's coming off the bench today. Well, we'll run Siago Cato here now. But we're at home. Shoot, we're at home. They're going to play a 4-2-3-1. I am fairly convinced we're going to be able to do this. Hmm. Let's do a stagger. Uh, the first 10 minutes of this match are going to tell me almost everything I need to know about this. Let's do a stagger. Okay. There we go, boys. Tolston, and thank you for the two months. Hey, what's up, only Addison? We're Oriental Dragon in the third tier of Portugal. And we're flying. This is the biggest match of the season, so you've come in at the right time. This is the biggest match of the season. Wait, Vanessa was tweeting about me and I didn't read it. Dang it. Pick up where you left off last time out. All right, boys. On we go. Let's go. <laughs> On we go. Bellinensis versus Oriental Dragon. The top of the table. Good. First 10 minutes have told me that we're not overexposed. Oh, come on. Come on, knee. Oh. Dang it. Sorry. 
It's got to be mine, Joe. Thank you. Neat plong nearly, nearly came crashing through. We're there. We're there. Shift over. We still have the numbers in the box. Don't get torched like that, though. Good header. Good flick from Nico. Oh, I thought, I thought Brash might be able to intercept that one. Fancy little combination, but not a real threat to the goal. Really good drop in by our big target man. Saucy pass. Come on, Pinto. Take a little more time. Let Tiago get in there and then yes. Because we don't want Maxwell heading it because then it looks like that. FM Addicts, thank you for the prime. Welcome to the Hammers. Thank you for spending Jeff Bezos money to be a part of an elite online gaming community. The tomato character is a problem. Good defending by Pinto though. Took it away, made him have to take that shot one time. Ended up with ball wide. Oh, be a nice time, Pinto. If I could mail order you to score a banger free kick, I'm ordering it up in this match. Oh, what dealson. Let's do a little better, huh? Holland is an Englishman. Oh, that's a throw. That's a throw! Oh, that's impossible. No, no, no. That is not how that's supposed to work. How, man? This dude is so tall. He is so tall, man. I... <sighs> Let's look. Let's look, Tiago. Let's look at Tiago's aerial ability, his size, his heading, right? All he has to do... Oh, we have to find it again. All he has to do is hit the goal. All he's got to do, chat. All, all, this is it. The keeper is not there. Tiago just has to hit the goal. The goal, Tiago. There's a big chance. What's the point of having a 36-year-old competitive veteran target man if he doesn't score that goal? Because that's the only goal he's on the field he can reliably score. I didn't get promoted even though I was unbeaten all season. Spanish third division is a joke. Well, it's just kind of like the Portuguese third division, if I remember right. And then we give away a penalty. Immediately, uh, five minutes after, he did hit the goal. Okay. Okay. That's unfortunate. Hate to see a penalty come in between a very good match, don't you? Ringy dingy. Close enough. Our Microsoft Sam dude was close enough. Thank you for the tier two for 16 months. One of the founders of the channel, Spicy, with the tier two for 16 months. My guy. My guy. I have a player who's overwhelmingly good in the air. I'm trying to set up set pieces to take advantage of him. Any tips? Uh, I, far post, honestly, think works better than near post. I gotta be honest with you. A lot of honesty there. I think far post works better than near post. I've been working on my near post tactic, but it's just not working. Watching you in math class? Nice. Show me something else the second half. We're now playing well. We're down one nothing. We've missed some big chances. Right? Show me something else. Uh, we're definitely in a very competitive position with our formation. 
which I'm really loving. Uh, but we gave up the penalty, which is obviously going to skew the XG very hard. All right, Nico's coming off for Artem Awas. All right, Tiago. Reed just can't stop going off, dude. Reed with the six gifted subs. That's one way to improve morale. Matt, Big Hig, Fraj, L, Cruzy Lee, and Taywas. Welcome to the Hammers. <sighs> Reed is laying the lumber today. Yes. Potter, you need a specific team managed in Wales. We can't do the Wales thing right now because we're in a huge match and we need a huge goal. But Wales. All right, Tiago Caro, no. We are going to give this man an opportunity. We are going to give Jaime an opportunity to become an indispensable part of the starting lineup. That is what we are going to do right here. Because I am not taking Eric Mendez off the field in this match. Not in this match. Even though he's on a 6.1, he's the logical substitution. Tiago Caro is coming off. Knee plongs gassed. So we're going to bring in Ty Turner. A little athleticism. Never hurt anybody on the outside. Adilson steps forward. Hmm. So, you guys want to do anything? Or are we just going to kind of chill for a little while? Uh,. We get ourselves in the ball here. All right, guys, we haven't done anything for, I don't know, 40 minutes. So hopefully this is our highlight. All right, Jaime. So close. He's got the wide, man. Go get it there on accident. Come on, Jaime, you don't have to play hero ball. We got good players. We're just not doing anything, man. I don't have any more subs anyways. We are just not doing anything. All right, well, our distribution to get control of the ball has not done much of anything, so now we're just going to go with the... Hey, let's hit the ball up there. And it might just work. We're there again. Turner's got those those fresh legs. He needs to just start taking off. Way to get Holland turned around. Oh, he got hurt. Are you kidding me, man? He gets hurt carrying the ball up in a perfect counterattacking opportunity. Now we're short a player. They're going to score. That is just come, come on, man. Are you serious? Really, game? Like, oh yeah, they got the perfect torner, like the counter. He blew out his freaking tire while he was running up. The that is just unbelievably dumb right there. That sucks so much. Like that can't happen against some, you know, piddly nothing team. It has to happen in the biggest match of the entire season when we're, you know, one of our best chances that we're going to have to score for the rest of the match. 
And not only that, you know, giving them the second goal, the match is then completely over. Holland's useless for the rest of the match. You remove the penalty. I made the wrong call bringing Jaime in. It was stupid. Wanted to play with my new toys, so I brought Jaime on the field when a target man was basically what we needed the last 20 minutes. Yeah, B teams can get promoted. B teams just can't play in the top league. They can play in the second league, at least everywhere in the world. I've never really done, I've never noticed that specifically in Portugal, but hey. Automat Automatrix paying for the gift they got from Mombot is gifted a tier two auto. Auto just gifted a tier two sub to get Mark. Can we get some bacon out for that? My goodness. A tier two read through around the six. Spicy with the tier two for 16 months. God, that sucks. Now we're floating in purgatory between Sporting and Belenensis. We need them to lose, which they have. They just don't do. We're the only team that's beaten them in the entire division. We're just going to need a little help. And we're going to need to be basically perfect. Yeah, okay, so B teams can get promoted up to the second division. So for all intents and purposes, they're just another team that we're playing against at the moment. That's the situation we're in. Yeah, Eric lost the brace. Dude, we got shut out. Of course, Eric lost the brace, the brace run savvy. He did not play well. I should have brought in Jaime for him. I shouldn't have clouded my judgment with the how good he'd been in the past. He was just terrible in that game. Yes, I do have the logos in the game now. You'll notice by the fact that Nobody's asking me about the logos today. We do have our badges in the game. I made that tutorial and that's going to be coming out sometime in the next week and a half. Mm. Happy to be part of this community, says Lucky Bram. Yay, happy to be a part of this community. Yeah. Well, congratulations because you're now a tenured senior member of the community with a silver bacon next to your name. Look at the main Bellinensis team, how they're doing in the league. Well, I guess there's a chance. Respond. Hello, Vanessa. Rafael Frank has left the club after an unsuccessful trial spell. When did he leave? Uh, we did, he didn't suit the squad at this point in time. That being said, we're going to like to re-add him. Uh, when did the trials end? I missed it. Or if the trial's just not come up in my inbox yet, you were just asking me about it because I'll give it a day. Then I'll go looking. How many games are in this season? I mean, not much left. Uh, we well, We've played 12 now, so we have 10 left in the regular season. And then where we finish in the table, we'll determine what kind of playoff system we're in. Oh no, I'm second. Frick. Both of you guys are legends. Look, Reed obviously has been a mod, been around forever, but OG Psycho just joined the Hammers not too long ago and has already become one of the all-time Hammers with, with with piling on gifted subs and adding people to the Hammers and those sorts of things. It's beautiful. Do you know if it, my status changed when I changed from mobile sub to doing it through Twitch? Uh, no, it does not. And you still have that silver bacon and everything. We're at automatic. Yeah, so... I, I would totally do that, switch it over the computer if you want it to automatically renew, because I forget things easily. <laughs> that helps. Yeah, okay, the trial just hadn't finished yet. Uh, look, Wang, he's just not been good enough to play for the team, okay? I brought him in on a whim, hoping you would be good enough. He's not good enough, I'm sorry. 
That's all I can say. Your Chinese U18 national team player. It is. It's a dollar cheaper subbing on a computer than on mobile. Because Apple takes a dollar off the top when you sub on mobile. Kilograms! Okay, who are you naming? Who's your named staff member? We have our goalkeeping coach has been taken. Right, and our head of youth development is Prodigal Zephyr. It's been taken. What's up? Three months in the what's up from burgers. Whoa. Congratulations on cooking your bacon burgers. One day I will be numero uno all-time gifter. You got a long way to go if you want to catch my mom. Fitness coach is kilograms. Okay. Fitness coach named Kilo Grams. Ladies and gentlemen, our fitness coach, who is terrible, is named Kilograms. At least he does a very good job of accurately tracking the weight of everybody on the team. Yes. Why offer a second trial instead of signing them? Just that, you know, somebody gets hurt, for example. I basically have a free option that I'm currently not playing that's already familiar with the team, right? Because he's been training with the team for months. So there's no there's no adaptability or learning to play with the team questions, and then I just sign him and he plays. Kill all grands. It is perfect. Mombot will succumb to my, my financial irresponsibility. It'll be difficult. It'll be a long road. But we shall. You need more flags? I'm working on it, Zenzo Cal. We had some people. I've got to switch the flags out. The flags are going to be switched out. I'm going to put it on my to-do list once I'm done uh, with this project that I got to do tomorrow. And then I'm going to put it on my to-do list and we are going to switch the flags out behind me because we have so many cool flags of some that have been sent. We've got to put them up. We've gone away and licked our wounds. And now it's time to bounce back with a much better performance. Ahead of this match, is there an heir wanting revenge? Uh, our loss? Oh, we lost to them. Yeah. Helps motivate the players for sure. We're, we have a good chance we play with confidence. All right, Vanessa, I'm glad to see you're pleased. I'll catch you later. On the road against Estrella de Almadora. Well, we honestly just need to win like every other match in this half of the season. We just need to win every match and hope Bellinensis drops some points somewhere. Mombot banned me when I subbed originally. Well, she you, she could smell the threat to the throne. That's why. She's also just accidentally bans people, but it's usually rectified very quickly. She's learning how to mod. She's becoming an educated mod, Chad. We all understand this. I do not play them again, no. We have 10 matches left. We need them to drop points in two of them. We need to just win. We need to go out and just win. Is it a Russian mom bot? Mm, yes. What's up, Chris Ransom? How do you do? All right, boys, let's make it happen. I literally, oh, the button's down here. Nice. Fend more narrowly, ease off tackles. I wanted to fend more narrowly. They're running double wingers. Fullbacks, I guess, aren't going to get too involved, but... They're dropping that deep line forward. That's going to be fun to deal with. Um, You go up. I like this, but Shalpinto's going to miss a match for the first time. He's clearly not fit and able to play. Get Shalpinto up to speed in terms of playing time. Be good.
One match without Shell Pinto. Means we need, we need new set piece takers. Holland will take the corners today. And Arui will take the free kicks, which is a little gross, but okay. So make sure there's nothing weird with the corners. Hungry girlfriend on her way home. I need to start cooking. Good for you. What's up, Rafa? Slappy's just an all-around good guy, right? An all-around good person. I'm gonna try back post today. Not like Holland can get it there reliably, but we're just let's just try back post, you know? What could possibly go wrong? I say that like, oh boy, that might be ominous, but like seriously, what could possibly go wrong? Trying the back post today. We're just trying it. We're doing a double pin down back post service on both sides. For our number one guy. I'm just doing it. It's just what we're doing. Iceland loaded in both sides. Yes, set piece takers. We had any long throw people uh, on the team. I guess left side, we want Rui to take it. Right side, we want Adilson to take it. And that's about it. Actually, it's worth it for the two. We'll have Rui go both sides. I hate having to rest my set piece taker. All right, boys, let's make it happen. Just slightly more direct today. I haven't liked our more direct play so far. Team sheets are out. Okay. We owe them. We lost to them last time. Easy team talk. Hey, Vanessa. Different sort of challenge today. We got to stay focused in front of the goal. Um, here we go. <laughs> Two and a half minutes have ruined the phrase good for you for me. Come on, boys. We know we're better than Belenensis. We know. I mean, if it was a home and away, we beat Belenensis at their place 4-1. to one. They beat us 2 nothing, which means we have the away goal and a plus one on the goals. So, like, if it's a Champions League tie, we're better than Belenensis. That's my takeaway. Ha, okay. That's problematic. At least Holland's there. Okay, Nico. Okay, Nico. Oh, good ball. We weren't even close to winning that header. Ah, oh, we're playing Xavi again. What a hit. What a shot by that man. Homie. Visions of grandeur. What is this new save? Not tune in for a while. Yes, we're with Oriental Dragon in Portugal. This is our first, you know, long save in FM21. That's a shame. That's a real shame. Oh, yes. Goal! What a header! Thiago! Whew. Thiago Keto! Spectacular goal! That's the goal we need from Thiago Keto. That's the old man, target man, lower league experienced, Akin Fenwa type of player. That's the goal we need him to score. Just creating goals with his aerial presence. Nice ball. Oh, Nico. Still doesn't have a goal. It was a fadeaway header. It really was. He just created space and popped that ball into the back corner. And the keeper just tantalized. Oh, Eric. Eric. Holland deserves a lot of credit in this team. Joseph Holland. Yeah. He's, a, he's the box to box. He just, he takes up a ton of space, makes the right passes. Oh, Eric. Oh, Eric. It's good to have you back, man. Now we're humming. That's what we needed. Let's reset the normalcy. Let's take control of our destiny here. 
Reset the normalcy. Good takeaway by Nico. And then he Thiago Quero. Down for Eric Mendez. Smashing finish as always from Eric Mendez. And this team, which beat us last time we played them, has been punched sufficiently in the mouth. But really, the, the more you mention it, I mean, Holland puts in great performances uh, in terms of his match rating. He he's a, un, We don't give him enough credit as a passer. That's a terrible call. That is a shocking call. That was a really good tackle. Just, just throw them a lifeline to keep them in this game. Just over the side. <laughs> 20 goals in 13 games, Goose. Thiago's playing like Ibra. Today? Yeah, kind of. I know they, they went after Rui Baghetti with the call, but I, I like, can you blame Rui for that challenge? I thought that was good. I was literally in the middle of a sentence praising him when the whistle blew. Come on, Brash. Is he really onside? What the? I need to look at that right now because I cannot let somebody get into that spot again. So Adilson's just guarding nobody, which is the problem here. But we've got multiple people that are that are opened, and so this is Yoshi. Who is Kikuchi, who's cut in and not been followed. Duarte is in the channel. He's drawn bra uh, Brash. The defense has shifted over. That's a problem. Adilson cannot lose that because all of a sudden we've gone from very comfortably up to nothing to needing Shaw Manuel to make a decent save to keep us in the lead. And I'm going to hit the team with a focus. Oh, man, well, there, there's nobody up there. We don't put somebody up top for corner defense. Attaboy, Holland. Well, Phoenix, that's a little unfortunate. Come on, guys. I don't. I don't want a nerve-wracking game here. Belenensis is losing. Okay, we're. I don't know how, but Belenensis is trying to choke right now. They are losing, which means we need to win this match now. Because Belenensis is losing. Somebody sound the alarms. I can all still change. I want you to stay focused. You guys want praise? I am happy to give it to you. There you go. Collins on the 7.3, Tiago Carroll on the 7.7. It's needing praise. Okay, sure. Rui is hard done with the 6.4. The sub for Pinto playing his first game. The nerves are a little high in the team, but I say we, we keep attacking. We keep attacking. For the leading goal scorers in the entire division, which is made up of like 80 teams, we are the team that scores more goals than any other team in the division. I expect us to keep that going. Like, we had enough bodies there. Somebody just needed to get around him, and they did. Good play. Thiago Kato. Excellent defensive work. And that is not a highlight with Niplong, really? Oh, thank you, Sandro. Thank you, Sandro. All right, Ivan Diaz, you're a decent passer. This will do. Eric. Was he offside? That way he pulled up because he was offside? That'd be a shame. All right, knee plong.
All right, Holland, just play the ball wide. Good. Now we've got Nico's. Get a very crafty player. Can make moves. Let's get rid of it. Oh, is he on? Norwegian teams would be proud of this one, chat. Back to front in two touches. Back to front in two touches. Niplong. Sandro's just like, sure, here you go. Just gives the ball a smack. And Niplong finds the ball and steers it into the bottom corner like an absolute pro. Whew. Love that. Love that. Anyone know if there's a way to check how many subs you have when you're in a game? Uh, yeah, go to competitions and rules. You have to get out of the match itself, which you do. I just usually do by clicking on a player's name in the tactics screen. Then go to competitions and rules, and it'll tell you in there. Great work by Niplong. He's just, he's that extra goal scorer we have that's very necessary. Because my other wing position, whether it's, you know, Aguas or Nico does just doesn't score. Like combined, I think they have one goal. And I think it was Aguas pretty early in the season. So Holland's gonna see it because he always sees it. Make the decent pass out to Nico. Give us a chance. Penalty. And Nico, despite his lack of goal scoring, is a shifty mofo, and now Eric Mendez has a chance for another brace. Because of course he does. And he got it. <laughs> It's what he does. What's the last sport you would play in a manager game? I'm going to be honest with you, and I know a lot of people like... Uh, oh, wait. Curling. I would not play a curling management game. Would I? I might. Cricket. I would not... Like, I don't understand the sport. I would have to learn the sport, then learn to like it, then want to play the cricket. It's the one sport I probably wouldn't play a manager game for. More so than any other. Is he going to shoot? Can you make that long run? I'm entitled to give you a chance. Track and field. I feel like that'd be kind of fun. Tennis manager. Oh, I play. I play a tennis manager a lot. Tennis elbow manager is a really fun game. Oh, that was a banger. I thought that was in. Anybody really tired? So we're actually playing a match every week now, and I know we're never in great shape because we're a semi-pro team, but... That's us. All right. Hold on, shell. Quidditch man. Tell me a Quidditch manager wouldn't be absolute... Like, a Quidditch manager would be sick. Come on. I played that old Quidditch game. Nico is a good dribbler, man. He is just a good dribbler. The thing is, like, Ni Plong over here is a good dribbler and a good goal scorer. Where's the pass? Holland found it. Rui Bagetti's like, I'm on the field! Just takes the shot. Drug Lord Manager. Well, is that a sport? To some people, maybe. Oh, Mendez is wide open. Eric, come on. Good find by Holland again. This dude only punches the ball, and it's causing problems for him most of the time. This one seems to be working. Brash. Unnecessary yellow brash. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, no. No, that's not good. That's a shooting pocket. <sighs> this is a hard fought match. Rugby manager? I almost bought a rugby manager game at one point. I understand the sport well enough to enjoy watching it and probably enjoy playing a manager game. Just got to the prem with Charlton. 20, 35 million uh, budget. Any targets to go after? Yeah, I... So, I, um... 
I may or may not have spent basically a week making huge spreadsheets of talented young players that you would want to sign in this situation. Um, let's see. You are going to want Casado from Ecuador if he's not already been signed. That's the issue. Ugarte or Matias Arezzo easily from the Uruguayan League. Um, you probably want to pick up Kakashi, Liberato Kakashi from STVV if he's still there. Uh, he's the new, he's the Kiwi left back who's actually really good. Just thinking specific positions like that. There's a lot of guys right, right at the start of the game that are like available for compensation. They're probably not going to be like there now. Like Wilfried Nanto in Switzerland. Even like Ravella, I think. Or some, one, of the, one of the young Italian hotties is still on compensation at the start of the game. Wasn't a bit of a let off in the second half. We won the game in the second half. What kind of idea is that team talk? We're one point off. B Bell and Insis just got complacent. They completely choked. They got beat by Oriental Lisbon, who's not even good. That is a weird loss. Oh, Fabio Matos, what's up? All well, starts with hard work, you know? Can you explain your tactical style? Um, every head coach has to work best approach given the players at their disposal. And uh, that's, what, that's what I try and do. I try and design an approach that takes advantage of the players I have at my disposal. Vanessa, and I know you understand that because you have a great mind for the game. Where do we get those spreadsheets? That's the thing, I don't release them. I use them to make these videos. And I've, I've tried to think about like ways that I can release them. I'll show you one of the smaller ones. Let's go like, we have Wonder Kids very cheap under five mil, Hidden Wonder Kids top five leagues, Hidden Wonder Kids not top 50 clubs, uh, and then Best Wonder Kids in FM, Wonder Kid Best Goalkeepers. So there's like a lot of uh, a lot of sheets. Um, so like Hidden Wonder Kids not top 50 clubs. You have like potential ranges, a short little scouting report on someone like Matias Arezzo. Age up to the month. At the early starting window personality. And then you see like people like you get... There's Wilfred Nanto. There's Raul Moro, who's probably already said as well like those sorts of things I really enjoy making that stuff so I and that's like how many pages is this one in particular is like 10 pages you know a lot of different players and that's just like the people that or on that specific list. And you look at a lot of people that don't end up on the list for one reason or another. Terrible personality. Potential uh, not high enough and often enough at the time. They're not going to be able to make their potential. They're, they cost too much money. Like, all that stuff. How do you find them? The editor? Yeah. Well, you use the editor. Like, obviously, you find people in different potential ranges. There are people with hard-coded potential... Uh, even that are under the age of 22, there's a large number of players uh, that are that have hard-coded potential. Yeah, I have no problem signing injury-prone players. I have never had a player get completely torpedoed because they were injury-prone. I've had a player get torpedoed because they just happened to get a nasty injury, but it wasn't because they were, like, injury-prone. They just happened to get hurt really, you know, they happened to get a really bad injury. Which sucks for them. And me, because, you know, I was counting on them being good, but. So when a new football manager comes out, I do something like that. Four gifted from OG Psycho. Stuka, thank you for the two months as well. I see you with that get in. Psycho, thank you for the four gifted subs. Atlas, Wolves, Vertigo, and Accounting Dave are now in the hammers. Have a good dinner with the girlfriend, Slappy. Keep it easy, breezy, and beautiful. Darlin's on trial. Hey, Darlin. Hey, do, 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 Wanted to tie it up. That's fair. 
Completely respectable. Complete tie at 110 gifteds. All I know in Portuguese is obrigado and vamos, which is, I think, all I need right now. Yeah, injury prone is is an overhyped attribute. I think that big matches, to me, is the most important hidden attribute in terms of uh, performance. Not like the hidden personality attributes, but the uh, the the big matches I've had completely ruin a player. How'd you get to Portugal? Same as Janetos? Uh, no, I knew I wanted to do a lower league save, climb up to the top league, then compete for big trophies. Um... Because, you know, Bate, we started in a top league. Janetos, we did a climb. You know, we started in the second division and climbed up to the Copa Libertadores. But I, I knew I wanted to do it kind of in Europe. But, you know, everybody does it in England. And I was like, well, where else can I do a, can I do a climber? I was like, okay, I'll do it in Portugal. And then I had one team picked out, but I, I couldn't get a database to start in the fourth division. And so I went through the third division and there's a team called Oriental Dragon. And I'm like, that's it. I cannot live in a world where I'm not managing Oriental Dragon in Portugal. And that, and then, you know, that's that. That is it. And we're going back to the land of my first love. We're going to love, we're going to manage Benfica to blow off the steam after the rage quit. <sighs> Phoenix, that sounds like a good move. Whenever I manage uh, someone injury prone, I rest time quite a lot and make sure I have a backup there. Yeah. That's a smart play. All right, nine matches left. We just have to keep nipping at Belenins' heels. But the fact that they did go out and lose right after beating us is a good sign. I have been to Portugal, yes. Alassane Youssef is a great young player. See, that's the thing. There are a lot of, no matter how many videos I make, telling you about great young players there are t there are 30 more players that are probably a better deal in your particular save at that particular time and that they got a they got an incredible role right there's a huge number of players in potential range from 140 to 170 there is an unconscious number of players in the potential range 130 to 160 it's not it's not incredible but i mean there's like 200 and something young players with a potential range from 130 to 160. If their potential hits 160, that player's got a chance to make the world best 11. And so there's a ton of players out there that I'm never going to talk about that might not even make my list because I'm not counting on them being in the top five of their potential ability, right? If they're 130 to 160, you can't reliably say they're going to be 150 to 160. That's not how that works. But in your particular save, they could be. They could be that. So you always have to trust your eyes. Always have to trust your eyes. More so than me. I'm there to guide you in the right direction and tell you about guys that I know are sure things. Or more sure things. But there are a lot of people that aren't sure things that in your game can be very sure things. Oh, Papetti's fantastic, Mamode. The center back, Papetti from Brescia. He's on one of my lists. There are a couple in the Ivory Coast that are playing in the domestic Ivorian League that are really good. But more importantly, really cheap because they're in the domestic Ivorian League. Satisfying to see us play well, yes. So, uh, hmm. They're playing well. They're fourth in the division. Very good. Uh, it'll be a hard match. They're a good team, right? Uh, yeah. How important is the strong team spirit been at Oriental Dragons? Uh, we're in a great place right now. You know, we are. Yunkel de Sportis is a fortress we lost here not too long ago. I think we're just a good team, Vanessa. I think that's just part of it. And we're playing a team that is overachieving for Briel de Barrero, and they're playing well. We've got to be ready for a good match. Because all of a sudden, the Sporting B team has choked away its spot in the top three. De Barrero and Fortinius so are next two matches or two other teams in the top four. Jaime only played for 45 minutes and scored two goals. Dude's lighting up these friendlies. These reserve friendlies, Jaime's on fire. I need to get him on the field again. Did you know Erling Holland is a family member in the game? Albert Braut Chialand. He is actually pretty nice. Very similar to Erling. A center, center forward? What 
love a cheeky bit of Vanessa in the press conference. We love to, we love to get a little cheeky Vanessa going on. So we'll take some time as we get ourselves ready for this match to talk about what we're going to do, uh, what we're going to do tonight, because this is a new thing. And I just want you to appreciate, hold on, there's a, uh, we will be saddling up this evening. This is for the live video that's I'm going to upload <laughs> like while I'm eating lunch today, I think of our first Red Dead Redemption stream, which you can then go watch and then get ready for our Red Dead Redemption stream tonight, which should be a lot of fun. Every Tuesday and Thursday night, we sit down and play a little Red Dead Redemption. We're doing a playthrough. I've never played it before. I literally opened it for the first time on stream last time. And uh, the aesthetic is great. So we got more Red Dead going on tonight. We're finally in the open world portion. We played like the entire prologue last time. So we're just going to be, uh, we're going to be saddling up the steed, you know, riding the great beyond or however else I'm supposed to word this. So Brigetti's off. Shell Pinto is back in the team. Beautiful. Chago Kato is playing well. Nico, honestly, Nico, I've been impressed with your ability to run with the ball. So I'm going to keep you in the team. And Tyler Turner's got to grab a place. So it's going to be a lot of fun. 7.30 p.m. tonight. I, I realize I haven't changed the stream elements. I haven't changed the uh, the stream elements schedule yet, but I will do that uh, at some point here soon so that that matches the Twitch schedule so you guys know that that stuff's happening. From what you played, which character are you? There's only You're only like one main character in Red Dead. and the, Unless it's like, you know, you switch characters at some point, but I'm still the original main character. I never played the original Red Dead either. It's like my first time playing Red Dead. Greatest American player right now, Christian Pulisic. In the future, Gio Reyna. Arthur, thank you. I'm Arthur. I don't like to distribute to the flanks. It's just not doing it for me. So we're going to go back to distribute to fullbacks here. Let's do this, boys. Less than three. Oh, thanks for the heart, Sean, and congratulations on getting your silver bacon. Oh, who you identify yourself with. I don't think I know the people that much yet to be able to do that. Where do I go see the Red Dead thing? I'm going to put it up after the stream. So you can go watch that, and then you'll be able to watch the one tonight. I've got two different live videos that are ready to be uploaded. I just haven't uploaded them yet. So I'm going to do that. All right, boys. Fourth best team in the league. Here we go. We lost to them. Uh, they're one of our three losses this season. Way back at the beginning of the season. I wear my strongs very my squad's very strong mentally. They are. Hyro has reigned supreme at the back for Fabrio Liberero. How do you throw him off his game? We gotta unsettle him. We gotta make him uncomfortable here with Oriental Dragon. It says last six matches and then only shows you five. Watch. Last six matches. Five matches. Nice. Sean, congrats again, man. It, it, look, Red Dead Redemption 2 looks really good on this supercomputer I have, too. Well, how do you feel about Andrea Pirlo's performance at Juve? I mean, it's a bit of an experiment. When you put a player like that in a coaching position for the first time, I think you you really have no idea how they're going to do. You just know that the players will listen to them because they have the gravitas. That's what you're guaranteeing by signing someone like that as the coach. They'll listen to Pirlo. The question is, is he cap You know, is that something that does his brain work the right way to be able to coach? And, Anyone have Vanessa's OnlyFans? You leave Vanessa alone, chat. Enough. She's mine. She's having a hard time with her eight boyfriends or whatever the last press conference was. Oh, that was... Yeah, I'm really happy he took that on first time because that made that way more difficult than it needed to be. There's a .08 at the end of the day. Oh, Thiago Cato holds it up. Nico, my God, Nico. 
Oh, that at a 0.3 XG because obviously. You got to just hit that with a little venom, Nico. You're never going to score a goal if you hit the shots like that. Oh, he's going to figure this out. He's got the pass. He's going to play it. Mendez in behind. This is what Eric Mendez does. He finishes these plays off because he's Eric Mendez. That's what Eric Mendez does. Tour around the yard. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I'm right in the way. He cuts off the defender with his body, you know. He, he puts it away. He rounds the keeper, tucks it home. He's a man of eminent composure, of quality. It's just what he does. And Thiago Cato is the facilitator dropping in to be able to figure these plays out. Give him a chance. Give Eric Mendez the chance and he will make it count. And now Thiago Caro is really in the team. You can feel it. He's getting involved in the air. He's essentially my attacking midfielder with the way he drops in between the lines and makes plays as the target man. His ability to receive the ball is fantastic. Belenensis, unfortunately, is also winning. Let's get me on this ball. Let's make this cozy. Vanessa's annoyed I swear, boyfriend. Any more flirting with my Vanessa and you'll be eating through a catheter. <laughs> He'll be eating through a catheter. That doesn't even make any sense, dude. Oh, Eric's in. Take this, Vanessa's boyfriend. Oh, he missed it. Oh, no. Vanessa's boyfriend's coming in and eating through a catheter. Thank you for the $5, Vanessa's boyfriend. Rare miss by Mendez in that type of situation. It's got to be Pinto, right? Yeah. Nice on to knee. Back to Pinto. Thank you. Ref. Premature appeal. He didn't actually touch him. My bad. Holland. The Englishman abroad. What's your graphics card? 2080 Super. Is in Superman. You played well, but there's still room for improvement. And I'm going to go with the guard against complacency because, yeah, we, we scored a great goal and had complete control of the match, but they caught us snapping over the top one time. They've got a guy that's clearly capable of making that pass and making that run. Come on, somebody score against Belenensis. Gonna play with slightly less width. Why? <sighs> Ivan. Feel like that was an obvious goal scoring opportunity, Ivan. Just, you know, speaking from the heart here. That. <laughs> oh, God. Thiago still hasn't scored off a long throw, even though he's like the most physical aerial player in the entire division. He can't score off these long throws. We just, everybody throws their body and it falls to the foot of Thiago Cato and he just skies it. Let's try that again. Nice. Oh, he just can't do long throws because he's Ty Turner. All right, Holland. I don't know about that one there, bud. But how about this long throw? Because Pinto's got a better arm. We'll get him fired up. Oh, come on. It's not even a highlight. Read with the 10 gifted subs. Read the mead. Oh, there he is for the brace. Oh, no, Eric choked it. Read the mead with the insane 10 gifted subs. We've got the lead. Let's see it out. Let's see it out. I don't care how fired up I'm getting. We're going to see this out. We're playing this. We're playing a smart game, you know? Easy. Here we go. Eric Mendez for the 10 gifted. Come on, run, knee. Run, knee. Steal it from him. Shoot.
Oh, here he is. It's the Nightmare Man. Eric Mendez. Oh. Reed hit it with the 10 gifted psychos gum with the 20 from Reed's. You've created subs in T90DK, Charlie, Lapon, Ryan, Lambrex, Satellite, Jack, Mox, Neil McBeal, Aiden, and more. Welcome to the Hammers. Psycho with the insane 20 gifted Pingu, Adam, Kiras, Harun, Zachary, Hollor, Hollum, Hollomedicus, Cabix, Salty Baker, Cello, Alex, Modestus, Alsted, Bust the Net. What's up, my guy? Detail, Hauser, Gunter, Hi, Tehran and Joss, the Hennessy, JC, and some bad stuff. Absolute madness. Nutty. From OG Psycho and Read the Mead Racing for Top Subs Gifted this month. And it is only the 8th. We have an all-time month brewing. And Nanku's even at 87 gifted subs. This is an annoyingly close win that we're about to put together here, chat, but it doesn't matter. There's so much love going around. So many people that are in the hammers for the first time. You remember when you did that thing? I think we did it a couple days ago where like everybody that had, the first time they got a sub, they're still subbed or whatever. They're still part of the hammers. But the first time they got the sub, it was gifted. The number of people that the first time they got their sub was gifted, and then they stayed a part of the hammers for, you know, for the long haul to be part of the elite online gaming community. Honestly, it's a good win. I mean, we were playing a top five team in the league. We had to go out there, take care of business. We played a really good match. Should have won by more. We didn't, but that was good. Got my gift and Talinia sent it back around with with some insurance. Yeah. Elite online gamers. Yep. Can I get a bro? And we're still working on setting up that gaming section uh, right now. And let me, let's just talk about this right now. The games we're talking about creating different gaming sections for are Among Us, Football Manager, and CK3. You guys will be able to opt into a channel where you can find other people in the Discord that also play those games. So, speak, you know, talking of elite online gaming community, are there any other games that we should add to that you would want to play with hammers in those games? Why is this the title? What did I make the title? In Portugal, learning words. Because we're learning words. Vamos, obrigado. Carayo. Portugal, carayo. Dota 2 or CSGO? Do a Civ 6, a Rocket League, a Warzone, Red Dead 2 online. The Sims. Golo is goal. Okay. Cyberpunk's gonna get multiplayer in a patch later. Dude, I need to buy Cyberpunk. I'm gonna like pre-purchase it or something. It's not like the PS5. It's not gonna freaking disappear if you don't pre-purchase it. Where do you think Chelsea will end up this season? A second. I think Chelsea could win the league. I think they'll finish second. Yeah, it's a good clean sheet. We don't get a ton of clean sheets, so it's good that we put that together. Shane Belenensis won. But hey, now we play Fontinius. We actually are going to have a couple people's contracts end in this stretch. Do you get along well with Sean Miguel Pereira? We're good friends, sure. Well, Vanessa, if you must. <sighs> ah, Francisco was just there to make up the numbers, I see. All right, you four, your contracts have expired. Welcome to the trial, the, the trial mill that we operate. These contracts are also about to expire. We've got one on two, one, one on two, four, and one on two, eight. We'll be sure to get you guys in as well. The Brazilians are here. Do you think the relegation picture will change or stay with the current underperformers? Let me look at the teams down there. Montillo and Prince are bad and they're going down. Um, I played a tough match. I've lost to Estrella de Almadora. 
So they get total, I mean, you know, these four teams, two of them are going down. Uh, I honestly think it's probably gonna be Oriental and Real, as much as I don't want Oriental to get relegated. Oh, Fabio rejected me again. That makes sense. And Junior Ramos has also rejected me, so that's fun. You know, do you want... <laughs> what do you want? Junior Ramos? We lack the financial muscle. You're probably right, Junior Ramos. That guy looks really good. Yeah, highlighted says uh, Aratiz wants to see the tactics. Yes. We will see the tactics. But this is also cool. Oh, I'm at the Premier League. Ah, ha, 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 ha. All right. That makes more sense anyways, Josh. I was like, yeah, yeah. You're interested in he's getting relegated? Sure. Having struggles with money? No. I mean, I just don't have any. It's not like we're in a particularly dire financial situation. I'm under budget. I am under budget. Yo, Mendez, thank you so much for the 50 bits, man. We have eight more games this season. Because we played 14, right? So we have eight more. We need to pass Belenenses. We're clear and free in a top two with Belenenses right now. A team that we've beaten and they've also beaten us. Oh, Matacoli might be our new goalkeeper then. If we don't, you know, we couldn't sign the other goalkeeper that we really loved. We can sign the goalkeeper that, you know, is going to make that other goalkeeper jealous. Because that's, you know, seems legit. What's the Pogba thing, Mikel? Hold on, let me... Leipzig will beat you tonight. Is it three? Yeah, okay. That's huge. All right, we'll we'll stream right up to that. We'll go as we'll go right up to that, and then I'm gonna go watch that too. <laughs> I, dude, you guys have to remind me of this stuff. I do not remember when European play is happening at all. I don't. Let's assume it's at some point during the week. But now that I can stream whenever, I hate streaming during like big matches they actually want to watch like during the school semester right i could only stream at certain times so i was streaming all weekend during a bunch of matches that i wanted to watch and those sorts of things and i felt bad for making you guys have to choose in some instances like you're gonna hang out here you're gonna go watch the you watch the match right what's the best way to find transfers in lower leagues see i probably won't be on pwn's order because i've got the other stream tonight where we can talk about it three months until the baby punk yeah but you just hit the silver sjm man they just hit the silver. That's silver bacone. Two monitors key, and I've got two. I need, look, I'm telling you, when I finally move, when, when I'm done with school, right, and I move somewhere and I turn it into a streaming pad, I'm going to have so many screens, I won't be able to pay attention to all of them because I have never had multiple monitors attached to the same computer in my life. And I know that's going to be a mind blower to some people, but I have one monitor in this computer, one monitor. I'm going to just buy $10,000 worth of monitors. I'm not, because I don't spend stupid money. I reinvest, you know, the money that comes in into making stuff better for you, but I definitely need three monitors on my gaming computer. I need three. This one has Discord up all the time so that I don't have to tab to Discord or do this when I want to check Discord, you know. That is necessary. Junior Ramos has made a move, as he should. He's a very good player. And it's a shame we weren't able to pick him up, but, you know, he's gone to play at Arauca in the second Portuguese division, which we will hope, you know, will be there soon. Look, he's not playing, but you know he's not good enough. Hopefully he proves you wrong. That's all you sit there and say, Wang Bo. Do it for us. Buy $10,000 worth of monitors. YouTube video unboxing $10,000 worth of, you know, like one of those monitors. He 
When will I see a Portuguese flag on the wall? If you want to send me a Portuguese flag, <laughs> then it, it'll, I'll, I'll look to put it up on the wall. Dario Speedwagon. I actually don't have one. Thank you for the 100 bits, Dario Speedwagon. Buy the insanely wide Samsung monitor. All right, guys, here's the tactic. I realized I said I was going to show you. This is the main one I'm using. I typically call this the full wolf. Um, the supporting target man has been really, really nice. And the advanced forward cutting in behind is the... You know, this center back drops ahead. Eric Mendez cuts to his strong foot behind that guy. It's been really, really good. Uh, Nico's been really dangerous with the balls and inside forward. He's put himself in goal scoring positions. This midfield combo's taken up a lot of space. Fullbacks involving themselves. I mean, it's been, an, it's been a nice tactic for us. Functional tactic. Trying to build a nation with Serbia. It's a good nation to do it with. Uh, they have 100 youth rating, but I have no idea if that's actually good or not. That's actually lower than I would have thought that they have a 100 youth rating so let's let's play that game let's open the editor um, this is the pre-game editor right i'm gonna show you this is this is where i spend a lot of my time in here not making anything but looking at stuff in the game so let's look at nations should be down here nations um youth rating down there uh is at least uh, yeah, so it's a little broken, but if you do is between, you get like the results. So is between 100 to 200. Okay, so apply filter. There are a lot of there are a lot of countries in here, right? So uh, let's organize by continents. So you have Ivory Coast, Algeria, Egypt, Nigeria, Congo, DR. Uh, you have Korea, Japan, Iran, Iraq, and Jordan, which you probably wouldn't have guessed. Germany, Spain, France, Italy, Portugal, Netherlands, Belgium, England, Russia, Turkey, Serbia. So it's actually ahead of a nation like Croatia. Uh, Mexico and the US, Brazil, Argentina, and Colombia all have that uh, youth rating of at least 100. Let's see somebody that's like exactly at 100. So you have the same youth rating as nobody else. So what about like 105? Ivory Coast and Iran. So it's a good youth rating. Again, higher than Croatia. And it's not the only thing, right? It's I have a couple of updates. It's not the only thing that affects whether... Oh, he's going to Olympico de Montillo. It's not the only thing that affects whether they produce good players. Um, game importance in the country is also very important. And obviously in Serbia, that's really high. And in a place like Croatia, which it, it would also be really high why they can produce very good players. And then... Uh, infrastructure, which is junior coaching, youth uh, facilities, those things that help these players get closer to their potential. There is a hey. reading. Hey, what's up, Uncle Barry? Eight months, my guy. Dodgy Rolex with the two on the Twitch Prime. The Nugan tool is amazing. Thank you for the love on that. Uh, huge credit to the team. I was just the kind of orchestrator of the thing. Uncle Barry, thank you for the eight months. You're only one month away from having a child with me. Are you ready for that commitment? Um, we... <laughs> So, like, DR Congo has a better youth rating than Serbia, but its infrastructure, its clubs aren't nearly as good, so it can't train up the young players as well. Its youth facilities and junior coaching don't bring up that those players nearly as well and get them as close to their potential. Uh, and the game importance, I'm guessing, is a little lower because, you know, it is. So my assistant coach left. I gotta find a new assistant coach. I'm fine. I don't feel abandoned at all. Let's just put like a job advert out there or something. Determination, motivating discipline. Hey, Vasco. Would you like to be my assistant coach, Vasco? I like this guy. He's balanced. He does that. No, 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 no. You don't understand. I want you to be like the guy. I, I really, really, really. That's how much I can pay my assistant coach.
Dude, come on, man. Come on. This dude's good. There's not going to be an assistant coach nearly this good. It's every good thing I can add. This is this is the best contract I can possibly offer him. Got him. We got him. Do you think hundred youth rating is good enough for build a nation? Yes. I think hundred youth rating is good enough for a build a nation. Hone Sorter is going to name a staff member. Let's go. So at 35 million, I signed Daber for five, Bamford for 2.1, and Marcos Leonardo, the Santos kid, for 10. I love, love Marcos Leonardo. He is so good. Any defenders I should go after? Do you know where Papetti is? If you can grab here, let here. I won't show you guys the list, but I will look at the list to help because, I, you know, I know 0 has been around for a long time. I'd like the assistant coach. Pwn's order? I got you. Name a Pwn's order. So let's go with very cheap wonder kids under 5 mil. Let's go down to defense, all the way down to defense. Uh, Have a look. Uh, what do you need a left back? I really like Isak Bergman Johannesson. The Icelandic wonder kid is a lot of fun. Um defensively there is uh you can go for maybe like a valentin antov from seska sofia you could go for a, an oli martin kolskogan from braun these are never going to be world-class guys but they they can ball um depends on what year you're in but namdi columns at dortmund might still be on his youth contract because he's really young Namdi Collins or uh, Mario Vuskovic from Hajduk in Croatia is another bet. You're not going to cost a ton of money. Preserve the mystery of the spreadsheets, but I can give recommendations. What do you think about Bellingham? I mean, Bellingham's a great player. He's still not really proven. He needs to play more in the first team, which is what he's getting. So once we sign this coach, he becomes Pwn's order. Wisdom Ubani is good, yeah. But he's not a... He, Wisdom Ubani's a striker. Yeah, then that's what you just said. He's a dirt cheap striker. He is. Wisdom Ubani. I wish there was a way to get the date you started watching a streamer. That Yeah, like your first time. There should be, right? The first time you tuned in. There should totally be a command that helps you do that. Like the first time you tuned in to watch this streamer. Because you have your follow age, which is how long you've been following. But did you follow the first time you watched? I all wins. Yeah, for sure. I think we've inundated stream elements. So wait a 14 yes too. This isn't going to be an easy match. Well, the first time I watched is I came from YouTube. Oh, true. And then there are people that maybe come from YouTube and they follow, but they're not watching yet. So the first time they actually watch a stream is after they followed. You know, that's a thing, too. Is there... I, I think almost the majority of people would have first followed the channel when I wasn't even online. It, they just came over from the YouTube and hit follow. First time I ever watched you, Allcott rated you. Might be one of the best decisions he ever made. Thank you, James Lawrence. I'm honored. 
Bone Sorter, you need to... Pwn's order, you gotta pick somebody else. <laughs> oh, the coaching team's too big, apparently. The first stream I watched was the Bate UCL final. Well, that's a good time to show up. Yeah, I all can refund you if you wanna wait for when we get another coach. No, 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 come on. James, it's never minus 50,000 unless you want it to be minus 50,000. We're not over here stealing channel points. I'll refund your pwn's order, and I'm assuming that's what you'd want to do. I'm a YouTube frog. Oh, I get it. Hopping over. <laughs> yeah. Did you get Kilograms request? Yeah, Kilograms is the name of our fitness coach now. Kilograms is part of the staff. We also have our goalkeeping coach who's a participating member of the Hammers. Here. Sack them all. And then we have Prodigal Zephyr, who's our illustrious model citizen head of youth development. Did we do the player lookup at the top of the stream? Yeah, we looked, we've looked up one player on stream today. If we, there's more than one lookup player request, then we missed that, but I don't think we did. I've been on top of it today. Any plans for international tournaments in FM21? Absolutely, Louie. We're just making sure the game is sound before we started. I think we might do it next week. Like once we finish this season, can get through the off season, get ready for the next season. We might kick off with Euros 2021 and our live sports saves. I love the live sports saves. I love the live sports saves. All right, Fontinius, we're here. We're ready to play. Let's do it. Yeah, you want to be cautious. Do I look like I'm going to be cautious on the road against Fontinius? No. No, I am not. He's out for two weeks, right? So we're really thin in the central midfield. For two weeks. Full credit to Vasco Margasha for at least trying. All right, Monroe, where are you? Or have you finally transferred? When do you actually transfer? 210. Cool. I got three days of you left. You're a sub. Just in case we need to put somebody with actual skill on the field. Minimum of 12 players trained in Portugal. Ooh. We've run afoul of the rules. Do that with our backup goalkeeper. It's the first time we've come close to that. Let's go, boys. Actually, I typically hate that. I'll turn it on if we're struggling to create, but I typically hate that. Stretch it out. Reina and Mukoku just subbed on for uh, Dortmund. It's beautiful. They'll be together for years, tearing the world up. How many players will you release at the end of the year? I will quote the great prophet 21 Savage and say, a lot. Nothing but a win from this match. We need, we're need we getting complacent. We need to, I need to be hard on you. This is the third best team in the league right now, at least on goal difference. They are the third best team in the league, so. Let's go handle them. Once we handle them, we only have the one match against Sporting's B team to look forward to, and we're playing a bunch of bottom half of the league teams. Or a bunch of teams that aren't immediately in, rele or in promotion positions, because we're playing every team in a promotion position like right now. Okay, Eric, make a move. Good cut. Good ball. Cut in, Eric. Cut in, Eric. Make yourself available, Eric. Let's go right back. Oh, 
Pinto, where are you going, man? Ty Turner. Oh, what a pass. his time this had this is messing ozil levels of composure right here took his time just lifts it up off the inside of the post nico finally gets a goal and it is a beaut what a pass what a finish i mean you thought he was a goal scorer the way he just took that touch with and then just chipped it up in all oh, perfectly placed I mean, tell that's like a Mesut Ozil looking goal where you just sit in a space where people don't think you have the time. You hold your composure and you just make it look way too easy. Oh, that was a banger waiting to happen. Yes. Oh, let's go, Nico. Okay. Maybe a little early with this shot, but that's okay. You know, that, when you get excited, that happens. You have to see the action, uh, that action at top level clubs. But you see it here, the Portuguese third division from us. That header must have hurt. What a goal by Nico. That was just lovely. That pass was so good. There you go, Turner. That's a throw. Come on, Tiago. It's really good goalkeeping. That was a late arrival. Holland, Thiago Cato. Missed his pass. The American Ty Turner. Well, let's go, Pito. Let's go, Pito. Okay. That would have been difficult to do, even in the best of times. Well, Caro, that was, uh, that was quite honestly never going to happen. How many saves you got on the go? Just one. Sometimes I'll do two saves at a time, but right now we're just doing the one. I just found your channel on YouTube and you're streaming on Twitch too. Nailed it. Welcome. Come on, Maxwell. Turn. Lay it off. Maxwell. Oh, I thought he was going to foul him, but we'll just take the goal. Knee pong, baby. Yo, Bean Bandit, thank you for the two months, my guy. Only one month away from cooking that bacon. Looking good. What division is he playing in? Third division of Portugal with Oriental Dragons and Knee Plong. Didn't that look for all the world like he was going to get fouled from behind? 2-0 lead inside 18 minutes. Are we top of the league right now? Have they scored yet? Belenense? They have not scored yet. So we are technically top of the league right now. We are anticipating Belenense to, to win. They know it's, They know the pressure that's on them now. We're competing for that spot to go up to the second division of Portugal as a semi-pro team. But if we if we end up finishing second, we'll be playing for a, a spot in the third division of Portugal, which might still allow us to go professional. Sandro? That ah, good header. Come on, Niplong. It's three on three. Good dynamic run. Oh, he's in. One touch out to his right. Yeah, stop the count. Stop the count! Stop it right now. Oh, Nico, having himself a game. Please pass. He's feeling a little emboldened right now. They are drawing. It's not like Belenins is losing. They just haven't, probably, probably just haven't scored yet. Come on, Niplong. Come on, Niplong. There it is. Holland up to Mendez. Oh, that's not the guy we want leading the break. That's why. The big lug is going nowhere. Manuel might have had that covered, but that was a pretty darn good hit. Oh, 
all the wings open. It's only a matter of time till he gets that ball out there. Or they don't use it. Chalpinto takes the ball, finds Eric Mendez. Oh, Eric Mendez, his movement is so good. Easy. He made it. He made a fool of that guy. He made an absolute fool of that guy on the ball in the air. Bodied him off, found a ton of space. He turns this lofted ball from Chalpinto into a 1v1. I mean, his positioning of his body, his strength to hold his position like that, his intelligence to be able to create that, like, unbelievable player. Eric Mendez, he just does some things you can't teach, right? Am I streaming tomorrow? Of course I am, yeah. Check the schedule here on Twitch. Nick the ball with the 10! Gifted! Subs! It's been a huge day. Wow, it's a really good shot. It's been a huge day for Psycho and Reed the meat on the gifted subs, but Nick the Bull's working his way towards 100 career gifteds, throwing it around to hold that. Jordan Forte, Leggy, Snurpy, J. Will, Max, Morris Hillebrand, Gumi Saul, Kid Presentable, and Armored Doom. Welcome to the Hammers. Make sure you get in the subscriber section of the Discord. Enjoy the emotes and all like it's, Oh, it's a goal too, but it's just allowed because the first guy was offside. Shago Kato, who is not is consistent heading the ball in terms of goal scoring as I'd love him to be, but he scored one of the best headers I've ever seen too, so hard to complain too much. All right, Ty Turner, they've left you alone. They don't think you can pass. Well, guess what? That was really good. The American makes a play. It's like one of those kids' TV shows. The American goes to Portugal. All right, dressing room. Uh, you might be winning. That could all still change, right? No complacency from us. It's 3-0, but we know the team we're playing against is very good. Uh, we've been fortunate to take a 3-0 lead, so. They haven't hit the target with a shot yet, but they have hit the post. The ledge. Nick the ball, yes. Bellinance is losing. 2-0. We're going top of the league. Bellinense is a choke right now. Anyways, they beat us. They We were the only team that had beaten them all season. And in two of the last three matches, they've lost to teams that aren't us to allow us to close the gap on them immediately at the top of the table. This is huge. This is, this is a day that Oriental Dragon will remember. For some time. Close him. You can't get bodied like that, man. You let him clear that whole channel. This left elbow. Dortmund tied it up. Lucas Pischek. How old is Pischek? We'll go to the news desk and break all that. We'll break the action down once we finish the match here. Good ball. Mendez, oh, well, yeah, turn and burn, Tiago, that'll work. But the give and go, that will, that will definitely work. Come on, really, Eric? Seriously, Eric's movement is really, really good. The, the improved movement on the match engine is really allowing me to enjoy an off-the-ball striker like Eric Mendez. Come on, Tiago. He's 35. Lucas Pichek, 35 years old. Mama. That was, that looked like a goal. Good punt. Eric. It's rare that you don't see him win the positioning battle there. Oh, Nico. He's a little too patient that time. A man of composure in front of goal. Yeah, one-on-ones are realistic, even when your guy does that sometimes. Sometimes they, they miss. Even when your guy does that, they miss. Are you familiar with the recent history of Belenins? Yes, very. Seals explained it to me, actually. You guys know Seals, the Portuguese FM streamer? He explained it to me. So Belenins was two clubs, and it split. The two clubs split. Oh, that's a penalty. Are you serious? 
What a dumb way to give it up. One of my best players, Shell Pinto, looking like a fool in the corner. Got absolutely worked. Come on, Manuel. Big hands. There you go. There you go. Nice header. Shao Manuel, this is his first penalty save for Oriental Dragon. This is a sharp one. It's a decent penalty. Oh, Ivan Diaz. Bold defending. A little too bold. That is a goal. That's just really... I mean, it's like all the village people standing there doing nothing. I have a bug in FM21 where one of my players is suspended for the next game, but that's been... Uh, there since two games. Well, that just means that he's suspended for three games, Kurdolf. You got to check how what what was he suspended for and how long was that suspension? Because it will say suspended for the next game, but he's actually suspended for the next couple of games. What are the icons before my name? So Nap, you are a subscriber, and you are a Prime. You have you, you've linked your Twitch Prime to Amazon. Those are your two badges. A fan club started again in the lower leagues to reclaim their position as one of the historic greats of Portugal. It's very interesting. Uh, yeah, it is interesting. Belenensis with the split. Um, see, what is this? Like, who are you defending? What are you, like, what are you guys doing? Nothing. You're defending nothing. And the dude just ran right through the middle of everybody and smashed the ball home. That's why we can't have nice things. That's why we can't have clean sheets, boys. To do stupid things like that. It's a good result, though. It's a good result. Oh, yeah, Nico. Dance on him. He's going to shoot. And eventually, he will score a goal in one of those runs that is beautiful. Shellfish, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. I love your name. Welcome to the Hammers. Make sure you get the subscribers section of the Discord. And Jeff Bezos does not thank you, which is beautiful. Good stuff, good stuff. Good win against the third best team in the league. I mean, there's a clear top two, so obviously we were expected to win this match, but Fontinas, we put in an interesting position. Good stuff, good stuff. More importantly, Real just put up five goals on Belenins, uh in their B team, so that's nice. And we have completed, essentially, I think we've played every promotion candidate team. I think we have one match left against a promotion candidate team that's not... We have Sporting right at the end of the season. Our last match of the season is going to be Sporting. And we have Sporting Ideal after Olympico de Montillo. And then we have one, two, three, four matches against... Rele we have five of our last seven matches are against relegation candidates. Two of our last seven matches are against, you know, better teams. I always tick coaching qualifications and coaching points um, to match whatever club I'm starting at. If you start unemployed, then just match it with whatever type of club you would want to start at. It's just 22 games. It's 22. Triple Dots is downloading the face pack right now, so streaming in 160p, but we're still looking sexy. That's you know, that's what you love to hear. As long as we're still looking sexy. So we've got three guys that are available for this. Fabio is going to say no, but Silva and Sam, they're going to say yes. He is in. And then this other guy's contract runs out in a day, so we're excited for that. Oh, you just joined the team and you had a red card before you joined Kurdolf. Yeah, it, what Cactus said, going to the fixtures, that's going to get you set up to see who's suspended. With Porto, I just played Benfica away and was losing 2-0 in the 65th minute. Changed tactics, managed to win it in the 88th minute. 3-2. That is... That's what it's all about, mini picks, honestly. That's what it is all about. This game. It's all about those moments. Silva? Oh...
Okay, we might be uh, we might be into this Silva bloke here. Season landmark assist bonus. I uh, I got no problem with that, man. I got no problem with that. Let's go eleven. I'm gonna lock your agent fee at five hundred. Why do you have an agent? You're a semi-pro player. Go 12,000. We can get this guy in for literally 12,000. He does not care. Our estimated wage was way too high. This dude is a potential game changer. Pair him with Holland in the midfield as much as we like Brash. As Brash as Brash is, throwing his body around as our ball winner. If we move Holland back to a more defensive position and use this guy as our offensive guy... He looks really good. He looks really good. That's the type of dude. That's the type of dude we needed to hit. A real difference maker in the team. Not, you know, Amar, who's who's good and uh, provides depth in case Mendez gets hurt. We're not lost. You know, we have another striker. What's this? Are you learning Portuguese? Oh, yeah, one win at a time. We're learning Portuguese. Of course they leak the transfer story. They always leak the transfer story. Everybody leaks transfer stories all the time. I'm never going to sign anybody because the transfer story leaks immediately. Vanessa. Just don't write the story, Vanessa. Just don't write the story because this Brazilian team from a state championship has definitely got more money than I do. Okay? And now I've got to come out and pay him, you know, max money that I can to try and get him to join, which probably still won't be enough. I should get credit for finding the guy. I found him. Not you. Suing them all. Oh. Vanessa's gossip girl is likely. It is likely. Let's go ahead and get Lucas Shallon in here too. That's frustrating, man. I was really excited about that. We got on him basically immediately after his contract expired, you know. So we were able to get a nice discounted price to bring him in, be an absolutely sick player. <laughs> Vanessa's jealous you rejected her. Dude, Camila Monroy hasn't played in months. I, I don't understand that logic from the fans there. The moment he accepted that other contract, he never featured in the team but one more time, so... If you tried to loan new 19s from the big three, I can't get a senior affiliate and I can't pay for the loans because I don't have the money. Okay, this guy's really good. <sighs> okay. Let's just, let's see which one pans out, right? Let's offer for him too. Let's just see who freaking pans out, okay? Well, now I'm in the window. I can't leave it, so... I can. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, we have no scouting budget. Okay. We're over that budget. What if I release somebody? Hold on, no, I can do this. I can do this. I believe in myself here. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Really? Shame. I just need him on the team. I can deliver us into a higher division. I just need him on the team. One of these two guys I need on the team. I need one more central midfielder. Wages after reaching international appearances. One game. No.
think we might be good. Oh boy. It's actually a really good deal. I just don't know if the game's going to be intelligent enough to take it. Like, I'm giving him an insanely good deal. Because if we don't get promoted, he can leave for free. If we do get promoted, he gets a 50% salary raise. It's going to take him to basically the salary he already wanted with an insane number of bonuses that are going to line his pockets. The money right now is not important. I'm going to be promoted to a better division at some point this season whether it's the third division or the second division i don't know i can get promoted to both but i'm going to be promoted and we will become professional we'll have to renegotiate everybody's contract when we become professional anyways i just need him to be on the team right i just need him to be on the team Need to keep throwing as many bonuses on here as I possibly can. 10 goal bonus. Fifteen goal bonus. Like you make an international cap, you get thirty-five dollars. Yes. Reach the second round of the cup, that's 725. Reach the third round of the cup, that's 725. <laughs> really? Really? That was such a good offer. That was such a good offer. Damn. What is Oriental Dragons? I've never heard of them. Well, you will hear of them. I'm gonna keep you around, darling. You're not a bad player. Look, Wang, I, we do this every month. He needs to play more often. It means nothing if he doesn't deserve... Uh, to get into my team. Look, he's not going to get into the team. I'm sorry I loaned him in. We were hoping he was going to be a lot better than he was because he was in the Chinese U-20 national team or U-18 national team or whatever. <sighs> Damn, man. That sucks. That is unfortunate. So he's still on trial, and if we do have the opportunity to wait on him for a while, we will, and then we'll be able to make the signing. Uh, I do want to try and get rid of somebody. Wang Shanai is under contract for way too long. I just don't like this guy. Can we offer him out? Anybody? An absolute miracle if somebody was like, Yes! I will take Wang Shanai! To be paying those two players basically the same amount of money, but Wang Shenhai is terrible and that other guy is great. I, I cannot believe he turned that contract down. Yeah, he had an opportunity to make so much more money. We just lost the other guy. This means I should have gone and canceled that offer and then come back in for Lucas Allen, which I can't do now, even though I have the financial power to make an offer for Lucas Allen. But of course, once I make an offer, if Vanessa's going to leak the damn thing, and once Vanessa leaks it, then every Brazilian club in the, the state championships is going to come in with an offer because he's actually a good player. Yeah, this is an actual club. I didn't, I didn't create this club. This club is real. 
They're in the third division of Portugal. They're owned by Chinese owners. They play in Almada. I'm mad. And I'm going to tell Vanessa that I'm mad. Marlon Costa with a, a zero offer for Marlon Costa. Yeah, I'll take it. I need to clear a little bit of wage if I'm going to make these signings that I want to make to make the team better. And Marlon Costa doesn't make the team better. Uh, we have Lamine Ba who can play defensive midfield and we'll use him as a defensive midfielder when we need to. But we will clean we will clean Marlon Costa off the wage bill because we have an opportunity to clean Marlon Costa off the wage bill. And we're going to take that opportunity. I have been to Portugal. Yes, yes. At least Wang Shinhai is large. You know, that's such a hugely important factor for a central midfielder. Look, Ryan Ramos hasn't even actually left yet. You're asking me about it. He leaves later today. So he's still packing his bags. Don't even... Knopfler is, is thinking about David McKinnis. We don't want to talk about that. Blessings to you and your family. Thank you. I'm curious if the club gets taken over, does that mean there's a chance we lose? Yes, if the club gets taken over, we lose the signed Chinese players thing. Because that is a board requirement. And we will do that. We will sign Chinese players. We need to. You see that? Dude, check that out. How hot is it in this room? My God, I'm changing shirts, chat. How hot is it in this room? I even have the window open. Hold on. This shirt has seen better days, chat. You want to know what it feels like to have two bright lights and two supercomputers on? Oh, mamma mia. A moment. There we go. That's th literally through deodorant. I mean, Old Spice is pretty terrible, but that is like literally through deodorant I put on right before I got on the stream. Because, you know, I'm someone with hygiene and standards. How is Adilson getting so bad? He's not, though. Adilson's fine. They just love Ty Turner so much. Right, Marlon's about to make a move. We are missing. Angelo Silva. Back on the bench. The rest of the team's ready to go. Yep. Ready to go. So ask the assistant. You just want to press the keeper? Honestly, I kind of like that. Let's do this, boys. Here we go. Jaime, Aguas, Gonzalo Silva. Team's ready. Playing the worst team in the league. So uh, we need to grab three points today. Standards on Twitch? You were the cause for it being hot. Hell yeah, bro. I fully expect you to keep a run of form going and win this match. We potentially lose our lead in the table if we lose today. Yeah, th there we go. We'll put the pressure on him. Nervous. I have faith in you. Apparently that doesn't matter. Apparently that doesn't matter. Sandro, I, d I don't want... I don't want you to be, you know, show me what you've got. I want to see a good display. There we go. I don't want any complacency. I don't want for my best central defender. I don't want that. I don't want that. Well, let's be honest. I've... How many hours have I spent streaming? So it, it's kind of... It becomes second nature at a certain point. You're not unused to having the lights and such. While you're just playing video games. Come here. Come here, Leo. Really? He's gone for goal. Well, he won a corner because Manuel is Manuel. 
How many Chinese do you need? I don't know. We have a bunch of them on the bench. We, we haven't been able, since we're a, a smaller club, to sign the actually good Chinese players because they cost money, unlike the Brazilians. It's good work from Niplong there. All right, Adilson, pick your pass. That is freaking sparkling, man. Then tell me Adilson doesn't deserve to start. Been on long? Yeah, we've been live for more than three hours, for sure. They're literally telling me Adilson doesn't deserve to start coming back from his little injury. And come on, or his suspension or whatever it was. I don't remember. That is a fantastic ball. Of course, Eric Mendez is going to be open if you can get the ball to him. Mm. Cape Verde's finest right back, Adilson. The 33-year-old, he's still developing, you know? And immediately announced, you know, shows his worth. Like, Ty Turner is an American. I love Ty Turner. He's athletic. He plays good defense. He can't make that pass. He just can't. He doesn't have the offensive chops that Adilson has. He's about to show off again. Good ball and a really good goal-scoring chance. One that you would have backed uh, Eric Mendez to finish off, to be honest. Good, strong challenge there. Joe Holland. Sticks his nose in, Joe Holland. Trent Alexander Adilson. It, it checks out. TAA, I mean, one TAA to another. Oh, he did it again. Dude, Adilson's literally... I started Ty Turner for one extra game, and Adilson's like, uh-uh. Uh, mm -mm. No. Absolutely not. He refuses to accept that reality. The 33-year-old winning his spot back very convincingly. Nico just needs to knock this down for Mendez. He did try. Now he's going to shoot. And he should. And we're all over this second goal. We just can't find it. Nico couldn't channel his composure from earlier to find that. Oh, a Dielsen. A Dielsen. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, Eric Mendez plays like Jamie Vardy, yes. He's the Jamie Vardy of Portugal. He, he scores on those first touches. He moves well. He uses his body incredibly well to create the space. And he's just bags of goals. He's, wa he's, he's golden boot runaway golden boot winner right now in this third division of Portugal, which has like 80 teams in it. No, thank you. And he's offside. And we blocked the shot out for a throw. That's defense. Okay, boys, uh, don't get complacent, though. I mean, we've only scored one goal, so. But even though they're the worst team in the league, they are still in this match at the moment. And they are really playing for their lives because they're running out of time. They know what they're up against here. Away. Flick on? Ah, uh, wrong direction. At least the man with six pace really tried to get in there afterwards. How do you put on scout assignments to Brazil to get cheap players? Well, uh, okay, so like what level of player are you looking for, really? Because at the top level, the players in Brazil aren't particularly cheap, right? You want Argentina, you want Colombia, you want North Africa, West Africa, Iran, those types of places. At lower levels, Brazilians come in aces and spades. The Brazilian lower divisions, the Brazilian state championships will give you players for really cheap that can contribute at a much higher level than a similarly priced European. So lower league Brazilians are really, really nice for this type of league, especially in Portugal, because they already speak the language and it's, you know, there's no adaptability time at all for any of it. My goodness, he could have scored that. Come on, guys. 
Not good enough. We've fallen asleep a little bit. We're going to give them an opportunity to get back into this game that they do not deserve. And in terms of what you scout for, if you can send a scout to Brazil, just look for current ability. You just look for high current ability and you send them... I would send them just to kind of South America. There's no reason to pigeonhole yourself too much. But if Brazil, you know, fits, you're in Spain or Portugal and Brazil really fits because, you know, they get the two years of nationality. So it only takes 720 days to get the nationality. Eric? Eric? Easy. I, the goalkeeper went blind but Eric scored he got hopelessly lost he didn't realize that this ball was hit with a considerable amount of draw back towards Eric Mendez so even though it hits there it sits up for Eric and the keeper's like ah <laughs> like running out and the ball just kind of stops it doesn't keep going towards him and Eric Mendez could just tap it in for his brace because he always gets a brace that was funny. I've been that goalkeeper before where the spin of the ball just completely screws you and you're like, ah, oh, wonderful. I really felt like looking like a complete fool today. He got tired. Yeah, he got winded. That was a long way out. Oh, what a cheeky ball by Chago Caro. Nico, get it to your right. I mean, Nico wins a lot of penalties. Nico's got that... Polisic swivel of the hips, you know, one way, the other way. Hat trick. Goal! Mr. Goal himself, Eric Mendez, has 26 goals this season. Quite simply, one of the best strikers I've ever had the pleasure to manage on Football Manager at this point. The tactic and his skill set just work perfectly to get Eric Mendez into goal scoring chances. He takes them. He's also become something of an automatic penalty taker recently. Oh, no. Just enough space for him to use it. What skin are you using to have so much info in the touchline tablet? Uh, that has to do, I use the basic skin, uh, but that has to do with the resolution and the zoom percentage. So you want to increase your resolution, right? Zoom out a little bit and it'll you'll be able to, there won't be more that pop up on the tablet. That was a weird throw. My team is in the wrong place. Bring it down. Oh man, Adilson. I was loving you in the first half. Wow, Pinto, that was a stab. Pinto's pass deserves a lot of credit for fooling the keeper too. Mendez, please pass. Please pass. Thank you. That was so... Come on, really? We did everything right and actually didn't score. Both passes to the extra man. Hits a firm ball to the bottom corner. That's some fabulous goalkeeping, honestly. He didn't bite on anything. Joe Holland, that's great. It's good defending. This team's battling hard. They're fighting. They're fighting. Bellinense has just scored two, which sucks because we were about to create a little distance. Um, but they're going to hang with us for a little while. Sporting's B team has climbed its way back into third after a bit of a trip in the wilderness on the table. All right, Niplong. I don't know. This might... I don't think this is the final highlight. There might be something here. with his third goal of the season it's an absolute bean in the 94th minute oh I'll watch that again I'm watching that again that is just sweet sweet 
This is music. He just digs that one out from under his feet and hits a... Oh, man. Wow. That's a hit. We did not know Joseph Holland had that one in his locker. We did not know Joseph Holland had that one in his locker. <sighs> FM20 is super easy like the predecessors. Well, this is FM21. And Football Manager is always going to be easier than real life. But based off of the DMs I get, it is still not an easy game, no. And Football Manager 21, no. The match engine's fantastic, though, and I would recommend uh, getting it because the match engine improvements are just at such a high level. All right, uh, good win, boys. That's a tremendous second half to take control. Win it 4-1. to one. Uh, And I know we've got some big Champions League matches coming up in real life. Let's head to the news desk real quick to check out what's happened so far. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Zealand Knows. I'm your host, Zealand. Let's get to today's top stories, which will be the Champions League matches that are about to kick off. Dortmund has won 2-1 to one against Zenit, uh, who have been ripped. Lazio and Club Bruges with a 2-2 draw as well. Let's look at the standings and where that leaves everybody. So Lazio uh, and Dortmund will be going through. Club Bruges was one goal away from advancing, and Zenit, which was already known at the beginning of the day, is no longer playing in anything. Club Bruges looking a real threat in the Europa League. Dortmund will be in the top pot thanks to their win against Zenit. Uh, and Lazio with a nerve-wracking conclusion. One more goal from Bruges down to the end would have knocked them into the Europa League. They are back uh, into the round of 16 of the Champions League. The rest of the matches that we have today, Barcelona, Juventus, Chelsea, Krasnodar, Dynamo, Kiev, and Ferenc Varos, Paris, Saint-Germain, and Bashak Shahir, and then Leipzig, Manchester United. That group's so interesting with three teams on nine points. Manchester United cannot lose its final match, and PSG has come back from the dead a little bit and given itself a very good chance going through unless Bashak Shahir has something in store. I will be watching those along with you guys, so we will be wrapping up the stream here in just a moment. That is your Zealand News briefing thing. Breaking news stuff. On apparently Club Bruges hit the bar in the last minute. Yo, staff man, Joey, you're gonna name a staff member? Who we name and then? Who who you at? We have the head of youth development, Prodigal Zephyr, the goalkeeping coach, Sakamal, the fitness coach, Kilograms. Who you naming? All eyes are on Statman Joey. Yeah, Bruce is also down a man. I saw that. And then apparently they hit the bar. Red Dead 2 video. Yeah, I'm going to get that up in just a sec. The head of youth development is act is already named. That's one of the ones that's already named. That's a good call, though, because he's really good. But Prodigal Zephyr got that one. So you can either get the points redeemed or name somebody else. We have our coach. Ricardo Cerqueira. We have our medical staff. Joaquin Costa, the head physio, is actually pretty good. So I could be yelling at you about players getting hurt. You could be the general manager of the chief scout is Hugh Nukem already been taken but the general manager is still uh, just randomize whatever you want all right you're the head physio i need i need a nicknamed head physio to yell at statman joey is the head physio thank you for keeping the team healthy for most of the year all right guys i will see you later tonight red dead redemption after the champions league 7 30 p.m eastern standard time i will be back here you will be back here hopefully we'll be playing uh red dead redemption too which i'd never played before we put on our cowboy hat and again uh it's it's you know the sensuality of me in a cowboy hat is quite honestly hard to resist huge thank you to read the mead for gifting an insane 60 something subs today uh, absolute madman psycho thank you for gifting uh, about 30 subs as well we had nick the bull gifting some subs we had tolino gifting some subs we got read the mead dropping 10 more gifted subs right here right now backs ramdahl captain save man bagater rocks jelly tma co and red evil and we're tied at 130 gifted subs apiece between Psycho and Read the Mead for most gifted subs this 
month, which is absolutely nutty. Reed and Psycho, thank you so much for sharing the love, giving so many people an opportunity to be in the hammers. Make sure you guys get in the subscriber section of the Discord to take full advantage of that if you just got gifted. Um, so that's 12.30 at Greenwich, yes. That's 12.30 London time, West Coast of the U.S. That is 4.30, uh, and it, it was it was a great time starting the game, and now that we're in the open world stuff, it's going to be awesome. Uh, so I will see you guys tomorrow for Football Manager, tonight for Red Dead. Enjoy the Champions League. Let's raid somebody. Shoot, who are we raiding? We raid, chat. We raid. We are raiding Clates because I love Clates. Clates is awesome. Clates is big and beautiful and... Awesome. We're raiding Clates. What are we raiding Clates with, though? Is the real question. We're raiding Clates with... What copy pasta exactly, Chad? Oh, Reed! Shoot, happy birthday, man! It's not just a sub-birthday. Is it your actual birthday? Just kill him the sub-birthday. Well, happy birthday, man. Thank you so much. Thanks for sharing so much love and giving back. And uh, thank you for being a great mod, of course, and uh, appreciate all of it. So have you heard of Eric Mendez? He's the Jamie Vardy of Portugal. It's Eric with a K. It's Eric Mendez with a K. I like the uh, always a brace made, never a, never a hat trick. Let's get that. Hold on, I'm copying it. Where We have very limited time. All right, guys, pay attention very quickly. We execute our raids well because we pay attention. That's it. Eric is always a brace made, never a hat trick. That's our copy pasta. Make sure we say, okay. I'll see you guys tonight. Stay beautiful. Come on.